right, welcome to the uh, regular season finale at John Baptist. I'm Mike Murphy. I'm the event partner here. Um, I'm not running this event. All of these volunteers, most of whom showed up at the last minute to, to step in and make this a possibility, um, are really running this event. Um, I just want to make a couple announcements, and I'm going to hand it over to our MC, Rick Tyler, to, um, to, to run the rest of the opening ceremonies here. Um, safety is really important for this meet. One of the only reasons we're able to do this here is because I've agreed with the administration to maintain strict safety protocols. So masks should be worn over the nose and under the chin at all times when you're not in your eating spaces. Okay, that's one of the non-negotiables for running this meet. Um, no food or drink outside of your designated eating area as well. That's another rule that was non-negotiable. Um, food, you can get it in the vending machines. Lunchtime, we've extended by half an hour, so it's, one, it's 12 to 1. For this meet, it's normally a half hour at one of these meets. Um, so you have time if you want to go out and get food if you didn't bring any, or uh, you can order food and have it delivered. Uh, there's a lot of places around here that deliver. I'm ordering Domino's for all the volunteers, for instance. Um, they're just going to bring it right to the door, and, and we're good. So um, without any other ado, I'm going to hand it off to Rick. Welcome to something even more exciting than the Olympics. Who's excited for robotics today? That was horrible because someone might be watching, so let's try it one more time. Who's excited for robotics today? That is better. I can't wait to see what happens in the fields, RIM, and the University of Maine. But right now, I want to introduce the person that's going to tell you who your judges are today, the, those people that you are trying to impress with your mechanical marbles. Please welcome your judge advisor. Here's Shannon Levesque. Here's Shannon Levesque. Thank you so much. So proud. Yeah, right? It's also early. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Um, we're all really excited to be here and doing judging for you today. Um, thank you all who submitted uh, engineering notebooks. We're gonna be looking at those very, very soon. Um, let me go ahead and introduce our panel of judges. Uh, thank you so much in advance for our judges today. Um, we had a lot of last minute additions and uh, we are really grateful to have them here because without them, this doesn't happen. So today I would like to introduce Mr. Uh, John Hammond. How are you? Next, we have Miss Mandy Cushman. Our next judge is Claire Mundell. And Tom Christensen. Next up, we have Ms. Scott, Mr. Scott Burgess. And last but not least, we have Paul Rand. So the judges will be around uh, probably around 10, 15 to give you guys some interviews and talk to everyone. Um, we're really excited to be here and we hope you're excited to be here too. Uh, good luck to everybody today. Thank you, Shannon. I want to know what Mr. Burgess did to deserve a squeal when he was introduced. Sucking up to the judges early. That's a great strategy. Good luck with that. All right, 9.31. 30 is going to be your very first match. You got some time. I'll announce I'm going to try to let you know who's got to be where. I'm sure you're watching it just as well. Let's have a great meet today. A little more music. Make some last minute adjustments to your robots. Can't wait to see how you impress the judges today. Best of luck to everyone today as we celebrate robotics here at John Babs. Good luck, everybody.
teams. Teams, we are 15 minutes away from the first match. Teams, we are 15 minutes away from the first match on the rim field. York, Booth Bay, Old Town, and Cape Elizabeth, you have teams scheduled in the rim field in 15 minutes.
We are now 10 minutes away from match number one. 10 minutes until match number one on the rim field. Teams from York High School, Booth Bay Region High School, Old Town High School, and Cape Elizabeth High School. You are 10 minutes away from your first match in the rim field. We are 15 minutes away from the first match on the humane field. Teams from Booth Bay Region, the main school of science and mathematics, Hamden Academy and Monmouth Academy. You are 15 minutes away from your first match in the humane field. We're now seven minutes away from the first match. Calling to the rim queuing table. Call to the rim queuing table. Team 51568, report to the rim queuing table. Team 6249B, report to the rim queuing table. Team 20734B, report to the rim queuing table. Team 56R, report to the rim queuing table. Again, teams 5156H, team 6249B, team 20734B, and team 56R, report to the rim queuing table now. The following teams should prepare to report to the U main queuing table.
confirming the following teams reporting to the rim queuing table, the rim field queuing table. Team 5156H, Team 6249B, Team 20734B, and Team 56R. Those following teams are due at the rim queuing table now. Teams in match one, you're now welcome to set up on your field. Teams in match one, you're welcome to set up on the rim field. The following teams should report to the UMaine queuing table. The following teams should report to the UMaine queuing table. Team 6, 2, 4, 9, C from Booth Bay. Team 4, 3, 9, 3, S from the main school of science and mathematics. Team 9343E from Hamden Academy. And Team 93303Z from Monmouth. Those teams please report to the UMaine field queuing table. Team 6249C, report to the UMaine queuing table. Team 4393S, Team 9343E, and Team 93303Z, report to the UMaine queuing table now. Within two minutes until our first match. Fewer than uh, two minutes to our first match. Allies in this match York High School and Booth Bay Regional High School are Team Red. Old Town High School and Cape Elizabeth High School are Team Blue. about one minute out from our first match. Streaming live, going global from John Baptist High School in Bangor, Maine. Robotics competition. Team Red of York High School and Booth Bay Regional High School competing against Old Town and Cape Elizabeth.
Thumbs up from Hunter. Team Blue, are you ready? Glasses on. Team Red, are you ready? Glasses on. Judges, are you ready? Is everyone ready? Three, two, one. A tunnel period, go! Team Blue making the moves. Trying a scoop. Into the autonomous period. Team Blue autonomous period. Oh, red, Team Red autonomous period. Three, two, one, go! Did that guy be moving right there? Minute 30 left. Team Blue makes a scoop and they're going for the move on to the red team. Planting themselves. Going for the big marker in the middle, making its way over to the side. Bit of a traffic jam. Making the big set now on to the red team. Appears to be successfully placed. Coming down to about one minute left in the match. Less than one minute now remaining. Less than one minute now remaining. Right in the corner for the one yellow. And still on the other side, for it appears Team Blue is ready to place a second. Carefully onto the ramp. About 30 seconds now left in this match. About 30 seconds left in the match. Now 15 seconds left in the match. 15 seconds left in the match. Counting down the final. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, we'll move our attention now over to the U Main field, over at the U Main field. Teams gathered from Booth Bay Region High School. If all teams are present, one, two, three, one team not present. Who's not present right now? Okay, are you guys Hamden? You're Booth Bay, so it's Main School of Mathematics right here, right here. Monmouth Academy, Monmouth and Hamden. All right, so. Last call for Team 4393S. Team 4393S from the Main School of Science and Mathematics. From the Main School of Science and Mathematics. We're getting ready to launch our second match. This will have on Team Red, Booth Bay Region High School, ready to compete. Also for Team Blue, Hamden Academy and Monmouth Academy.
Reps are now, reps are now preparing to check out the field on the UMaine field. At the UMaine rim table, reporting at the UMaine rim table right now, team 6249A, team 64762B, team 93303F, and team 21421E, lining up at the rim queuing table right now. Final call for Team 4393S. Final call for Team 4393S from the Main School of Science and Mathematics. Team blue ready, team red ready, referees ready, is there ready? Match number two in three, two, one, go. There's the autonomous period where the teams make their move and make their moves and show off for what skills they want to show off. Seems everyone's keeping their powder dry. Only five seconds left in the autonomous period. Three, two, one, end of the autonomous round. Now ready for the driver's round. Preparing for the driver's round. Driver's round ready in three, two, one, go! Driver's round now in one minute and 42 seconds of play here on the U-Main field. Battle right now for one of the yellow markers in the center of the field. Reporting next to the U-Main, reporting next to the U-Main table. Reporting next to the U-Main table. Team 2142E, Team 2142E, and Team 2142D. Also reporting to the UMaine table, 56G, 56G, and Team 9343B. One minute left in our second match. One minute left in our second match. Coming up on the 30-second mark for our second match. 30-second mark for our second match. 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds remain to make any plays you wish in the robotics match. Returning to the rim field next. Returning to the rim field next. Coming up on the 15-second mark. 15-second mark for UMaine. 15-second mark on the UMaine field. Counting down the final moments of the match. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Judges look over the field, count it up for us. Thanks to many of our sponsors making today's event possible, including AT&T. Thank you, AT&T. Players for match number three. Match number three, please take your positions on the field. Looking for team 6249A from Booth Bay. Team 6476B from Bangor, Team 93303F from Monmouth Academy, and Team 21421E from All Saints Catholic School to take your position on the field now for our third match. On the big screen, you have the results from our first match today. The results from our first match. Thank you, Zoe. Team Red, the autonomous winner as well, with 66 points. Team Blue with team uh, with 60 points. Congrats to York and Booth Bay on the win. Well done, Old Town and Cape Elizabeth. The results of match one. The results of match two are coming up shortly.
Volunteers resetting the field on the U-Main field. Standing by now with the U-Main field ready to take the field eventually at 2142E, 2142D, 56G, and 9343B. Our attention now goes to the rim field, waiting for glasses down. Safety glasses all the way around. Rim field, Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. Zoe ready. Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go. The autonomous round, Team Blue making a fast move, running onto the other side of the field, now making its way, scooping up some of the purple on the field. One big scoop of a big blue. And three seconds left in the autonomous round. Two, one, end of the autonomous round. Preparing for the driver's round now. Driver's round now in five, four, three, two, one, go. Spring across the field, trying to make the big points with the big posts. Also scooping up many of the green on the way. There's a big move on the big post in the center with the team making improvement over for Team Blue. About a minute 15 left, a minute 15 left. Next U main field, next U main field. Now one minute left, one minute left in the match, one minute left in the match. Team Blue during the rest of score, Lloyd, many of the posts may be trying to run down the clock now with 40 seconds left, 40 seconds left. The following teams can report to the rim table. Following teams, if you're not already at the rim table, team 64, 76, 30 seconds left in the match. Team 64, 76, 2F, 2142 H, 2142-1H, and 2142-1A all reporting to the rim table. 15 seconds left in the match. Counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Starting the match. Judges take the field. Check out the scoring. One, two, three. Fourth match of the day now. Fourth match of the day. Turning our attention over to the U Main field. Team Blue and Team Red, they have their machines. They're ready to go. How do those watching streaming online right now? Next time, love to have you in the auditorium to watch some of the field. Putting out something on the floor. Last minute pumping going on. Match number six, you can report to the U Main table. Match number six, report to the U-Main queuing table, 64-76-2A, 64-76-2D, 93-43A, and 207-34A. Those following teams report to the U-Main queuing table. Zoe's got some more scores for us. Looking for the match number two. Blue team wins with 100 points. Congrats to Hamden Academy, the Gearheads, and Monmouth Academy. Well done, Booth Bay and Limestone, 100 to 40. The results of match number two. Thank you, Zoe. Last minute strategies being placed. Team red, team blue. We'll return to the rim field in a moment and see matchups between All Saints Catholic School, John Babson, Bangor High School. Now at the U Main field, 
Two teams from John Dabbs, one from Hamden Academy, one from Cape Elizabeth. The following teams can report to the U-Main queuing table. The following teams can report to the U-Main queuing table. 6476-2A. 6476-2D. Team 9334A. And Team 20734A. Report now to the U-Main queuing table. For the team, uh, teams for match five, you can report to the floor. Teams for the match five, you can report to the floor now. It's set. Got to have safety glasses or a step back. There you go. Safety glasses on. Team red ready. Team blue ready. Safety glasses all around. Wraps ready. Match begins in three, two, one. Autonomous go! Autonomous rounds moving, grabbing, scooping, moving about. Five seconds left now. Five seconds left in the autonomous round. Three, two, one, go. Has. Y'all just take a look. Driving around ready. Driving around in three, two, one, go. Jam in the middle of the field as everyone reaches and grabs those big posts already. Running back, placing it with a fury. 56G tearing up the field right now. The team from Cape Elizabeth making some fast moves. Elevation, making the big scope. Tip down to the side, outside of the... Coming up on one minute left in the round. Coming up on one minute left in the round. Pink Duck stealing back one of the posts, jamming it over into the corner. Now less than one minute left, one minute left in the round. Coming up on the 30-second mark, coming up on the 30-second mark. Last moments, 30 seconds remain in match number four. Twenty seconds now, twenty seconds remain. Counting down the final ten in match number four now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the match, match number four. Judges will take a look. Count up the score. We'll see who wins in match number four. Turning our attention now back over to the rim field. The following teams can report to the rim killing table. The following teams can bring your robots to the rim killing table. Team 56J and Team 56S. Also Team 4140. Check that. 41404A. And Team 20734C, those teams from Cape Elizabeth, Old Town, and Thornton Academy, you can report now to the rim queuing table. Ready to start the next round. Red team ready? Blue team ready? 
Ref ready? Here we go. Automation. Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go. Coming up in five seconds left in the autonomous round. Five seconds in the autonomous round. No one making any more moves. Maybe keeping the powder dry. Ready for what's going to be the driver's round. Team Red. Team Red takes the autonomous round. Driver's round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. Fifth round between All Saints Catholic School, John Bass, Bangor High School as well, all involved. Coming up on one minute left in the match. Coming up on one minute left in the match. Volunteers furiously resetting the field right now over on the UMaine field. Our thanks to Granger, one of our sponsors of today's event. Granger making robotics happen. Thank you for your support. Less than one minute left in this round. Less than one minute left in this round as we watch match number five. Teams from Bangor High School, Hamden Academy, and Old Town. Hold up right now. 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds remain right now in match number five. Still that big post out in the center of the field. It could go somewhere. Can someone get it where it needs to go with less than 15 seconds left? There's the big scoop. Pulling it over to the side. Now with 10 seconds remaining in match number five. Down to the five-second mark. Five, four. Three, two, one. So ends the match. Judges tally the scores, if you will. We'll make a walk over now to the University of Mainfield, and Zoe gives us the word for the results of what we think is qualification round number three. Again, Monmouth and Bangor teaming up to score 100 big points in that match. Best to Booth Bay and the team from Bangor scoring 46 over 46. Red team was the autonomous winner. Congratulations to the team up of Monmouth and Bangor scoring 100 points in match number three. Zero also tells us we have the results of match number four already to share with you. The results from match number four, Team Blue. The alliance between Cape Elizabeth and Hamden scoring 60 points. Team Red, the Flat Earth Society and the Scorpion. Team Red scoring 83 points. Team Red wins number four. Thank you, Zoe. Teams 56J and 56S. Get ready to take the field over on the rim of the field. Also, team 41404A and 20734C. You are match number seven. You're coming up after this match. Now at the University of Maine field. Red team, are you ready? Red team, ready. Blue team, ready. Take the head, dude. Red's ready. Autonomous round begins for qualification number six in five, four, three, two, one, go. Here's the autonomous round, streaming up fast. Pulling, pushing, tucking back. Five seconds, five seconds set to remain. Making a very clean sweep of the board. With three, two, one, go! 
and Team Red takes the autonomous round. Driver's round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Team Blue making a pass with a big post in the center and tucking it back into the corner. Now trying to work to defend the position and then maybe make a move on another of the big posts in the middle of the field. There's the scoop, grabs it, pulls it back with about one minute and 20 seconds remaining. Tucking it into the corner, seeing if it'll hold there for the rest of the match. But is someone going to try to steal it away? There's the scoop, pulling it away, even as another is pulled from one side of the field to the other with one minute left, about one minute. Approaching the one-minute mark in team qualification number six, the competition at the University of Maine Field. We'll return to the rim field next. Following teams can make their way to the University of Maine queuing table, New Maine queuing table, team 1897A, team 56H, team 4393X, and team 21421S. Make your way to the U Maine queuing table right now. Match number six, 40 seconds remain. Trying to scroll and keep those big posts on one side of the field as to the other. Makes a move, and there it is. Squared away once again in the corner. Team Blue making some big moves with 30 seconds left. Not out of the game entirely. Twenty seconds now remain. Twenty seconds remain. Counting down the final 10 seconds in match number 6, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. End of the match. At the human queuing table now, Team 8197A, Team 56H, Team 4393X, and Team 21 421S Cyber Saints. Go take your place at the Humane Queuing Table now. And these teams can report to the room table. These teams can report to the room queuing table. 207 34B from Old Town High School. Team 207 34B to the room queuing table. Team 4393S report to the queuing table, the room queuing table and Team 2142D and Team 2142H report to the rim queuing table. Zoe's got more results for us. Let's go to the latest scores from qualification number five. Oh, there was a close match. Team Red squeaking out the win with 66 points, maybe the points from the autonomous round, defeating Team Blue. Qualifications for number five. Congrats to the teams from Bangor all the way around. Match number seven is two teams from Cape Elizabeth High School, one from Thornton Academy, and one from Old Town High School setting up on the rim field right now. Following teams can report to the rim queuing table. Following teams to the rim queuing table. 207-34B, 4393S, and 2142D and 2142H. These teams are already set up at the u main queuing table for the next event. These teams are already set up. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Set the glasses around. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Quick grab, quick spin. Stepping up two, five, four, three, two, one. Autonomous round ends. Team Blue wins the autonomous round. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go!
Trojans and Thornton Academy with a double scoop option on the robot that they've built and a bit of a jam in the corner, but driving in once again to try to make the scoop and pull that post away, holding on to it maybe until the last minute. Now in the center of the field, with all, coming up on the one-minute mark, coming up on the one-minute mark left in the round. One minute remains. One minute remains in the round. One minute remains in this round. Morning teams can report to the Umaine Killing Table. These teams to the Umaine Killing Table. 21-42-1A, 21-42-1A. 30 seconds remain in round number seven. Also, 56R, 56R to the Humane Killing Table. 93, 33, 93303 up, and 64, 76-2A. 64-76-2A to the Humane Killing Table. Now looking at 10 seconds remaining, 10 seconds remaining. Jammed in the corner. No one's moving. Flip the two, one. End of a violent match at the rim table, at the rim field. Wow. Round number eight finds us back at the U main field. Teams from teams from Wayne Fleet, Cape Elizabeth, all the way from Limestone, the main school of science and mathematics and all saints competing in the eighth round here. Zoe says we've got results to share with you from the qualifications number six. The gearheads of Hamden and the amateurs from Old Town, anything but amateurs, scoring a combined 100 points, defeating Bangor's teams, coming in with 76. Congratulations to Team Blue in round number six. Team Blue ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Running, grabbing, returning, bringing back, holding into the sections. Now in about seven seconds left in the autonomous round. No one appears to be making any additional moves. We'll look to the judges to see. Tied for the autonomous round. Driver's round begins, however, in five, four, three, two, one, go! One minute and 45 seconds to show their skills as they move around the table, move around the field, grabbing, scooping, growing for the big post in the middle. There's 56H. Cape Robotics from making a big move, tucking it over into the corner, and then trying to protect, maybe trapping in another opponent on the side. Coming up on the one minute mark, coming up on the one minute mark now in order to try to finish up the field. Next match back to the run field. Two teams from John Babs Mathematics School, uh, School of um, Science and Mathematics in Old Town High School competing next. One minute mark now, one minute mark in match number eight. Team Blue going for this, trying to balance very carefully on the post on the other side, and then try to pull back good balance. Post on the side. Now with about 40 seconds left. Traffic jam, traffic jam here on the red side as they pile up the posts, trying to match some of the points. Team Blue going for one more careful placement. <laughs> 30 seconds now remain in the match. 30 seconds remain in the match. 
Now coming up on 20 seconds left. 20 seconds of Matt scoring toward the very, very end of the match. Team ready to try to steal in the past 15 seconds and move that mark, and they steal back the big post. Five, four, three, two, one. End of the match. In a traffic jam and a collision in the center of the field, the judges will try to sort it out. Turn our attention back to the U-Main field, back over to the rim field. Our thanks to P&E, one of our sponsors of today's event, a sponsor of today's event, P&E. Thank you for helping make the fun happen today. Zoe gives us the signal here. The scores are big number up on the board for match number seven with the teams from Cape Elizabeth scoring 130 points, of, 130 points, a very high scoring round against the team from Saco and Old Town High School, 130 to 116. Thank you, Zoe, for the numbers for the qualification round number seven. Number nine is next. Teams from John Babs, all the way from Limestone, the main school of science and mathematics in Old Town High School, ready to compete in match number nine now. Judges making a quick look to make sure everyone's got safety glasses on as they prepare for the event. Here looks good. Team here ready. Team blue ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round number nine in five, four, three, two, one, go! Everyone jumping out. Oh, immediate grab for one of the posts in the center. Now with 10 seconds left. Nine, eight in the autonomous round. Everyone keeping the powder dry. Going to get ready for the driving round in a moment. <laughs> Team Red wins the autonomous round. Driving round begins now in five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> now battle in the center of the field. One team steals away the big post from the center. Trying to make it over, and Team Red trying to place it, red enough leverage to post it up onto the... And they rip the part, the big post. Discarding it, and now moving off to the corner. We'll see what the judges have to say about that. Let the play continue. Now, with about one minute left in the match... Team Red grabbing, pulling, piling, doing the best to try to grab and scroll away into the corner as many of the points as they possibly can. Less than one minute left. Interesting strategy on one of the robots, catapulting up many of the purple donuts, capturing them on top of one of the posts of the big weights. So at the same time, trying to post them onto the balanced benches on the side of each of the field right now, coming up on the 30-second mark now, coming up on the 30-second mark in the match number nine. Coming up the 30-second mark. Let's see what can happen in the final moments here. With 30 seconds left, right down in the center of the field, scooping up the purple donuts like it's two for one day at Frank's Bakery. Now with 15 seconds remaining, 15 seconds remaining, running to scroll away, place them over in the corner. With 10 seconds left, let's see how the points stack up in this event. Five, four, three, two, one. It goes the game. It'll take the judges a bit of a moment to put together one of the players that one of the robots ripped apart on the wind field. Zoe is showing us for the qualification number eight, 153 points on the board for the team from Wayne Fleet and Cape Robotics, besting the team from Limestone and Bangor, 153 to 83. The results for match number eight. Match number 10, our next focus on the University of Maine field. 
Maryland teams can report to the University of Maine Curing Table. 56G, 20734A, 56J, and 6249B. You got those robots? Report to the University of Maine Field Curing Table now. Red team ready. Blue team ready. Safety glasses down, please. Sam Luna. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! One team went for the grab maybe a little too soon when reaching out on the autonomous round, trying to score something forward. Five, four, three, two, one. There's the hand. Team Red wins the autonomous round. Now comes the driving round in five, four, three, two, one. Again, the following teams report your robots to the University of Maine Curing Bench. Team 56G, Team 20734A, Team 56J, and Team 6249B. The following teams, if not already there, get to the room queuing table. Team 9343A, Team 20734C, Team 6249C, and Team 1897A. We're watching match number 10 right now on the University of Maine field. We're watching Bangor High School and Monmouth Academy in alliance against All Saints Catholic School and Cape Elizabeth High School. Team Blue, Team Red with one minute left in the match. While some of the teams are battling in the center, one member is trying to scoop away that large post in the center in the far side closest to the judges and trying to get it over to one side of the field in the final 30 seconds of the match. If they can get a dangle on it and then make the big push, they might be able to see it squared away to the very corner. 30 seconds remain, 30 seconds left. Team 56G, Team 20734A, Team 56J, and Team 6249B, you should be at the U-Main queuing table right now. Ten seconds left in match number ten. Four, three, two, one. Competition number 11 now takes us back to the room field where we watch teams from Thornton Academy, Mammoth Academy, York, and Bangor compete. Double checking the field now, making sure everything is where it needs to be as the teams come and take the field for qualifications number 11. Following teams can report to the room table. Following teams can report to the room table. Team 9343A, Team 20734C, Team 6249C and Team 1897A. If those are your robots, get them over to the room killing table. Zoe, you got some more numbers for us? Sure does. Match number nine, Team Red Wings with 128 points. The Old Town High School beginners and the team from Limestone teaming up. Best to the Scorpions and the team from Bangor scoring 70 points. Thank you, Zoe, for the results from qualification number nine. Final positioning right now for what should be our next match. This is number 11. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. The judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go! Again, these teams have your uh, robots to the queuing table, please, for the room field. And end of the autonomous round. Judges take a look, and they declare 
Team Red, the winner of the autonomous round, driver's round now. Oh, hold on. Thanks again to the hundreds of volunteers who make today possible and every robotics meet possible, investing time into the children, into the students. Thank you, volunteers, for making today's event possible here at John Dabbs High School. Judges conferring concerning the autonomous round. Team Blue determined the winner of the autonomous round in qualification 11. Team Blue. Driver's round begins now in 3, 2, 1, go! Now a minute 45 on the clock for the teams to grab scope, grab what they can, and bring them back into their part of the field, squirreling them away, maybe making a balance on one of the team's benches on the far side of the field. We go next back to Team U Main or the U Main Rim. We'll watch teams from Cape Elizabeth, Old Town, and Booth Bay Harbor compete in the 12th round. The following teams can report to the U Main bench uh, table. The following teams report to the U Main table Team 21421E, Team 41421H, Team 6476-2D. And Team 4393X. Less than one minute left in the 11th match. Less than one minute left. Bangor, York, Monmouth, and Thornton all on the field, all trying to score big points and fighting over what might possibly be enough of the posts in order to score a huge victory. Looking at 30 seconds left now, 30 seconds left in the match. Ninety-three forty-three A, two seven thirty-four C, sixty-two forty-nine C, and eighteen ninety-seven A. Have your robots up on the table on the rim field. Ten seconds remaining. Everyone holding steady for the end here. Trying to get the balance. Five, four, three, two, one. What a match! Wow! Can't wait to see the scores for number eleven. Walking from the rim field over to the University of Maine field. Thanks to the volunteers for having it set up, and best of luck to those taking part in the skills competition in the far corner here at John Dabbs in the auditorium today. Turning our attention to match number 12, which sees members of Cape Elizabeth, Old Town, and Booth Bay Harbor lined up, Team Red and Team Blue getting ready, and the judges will do their best. robots called to the queue on the Humane Q table. Humane Q table for teams 2142-1E, 2142-1H, 6476-2D, and 4393-X. Safety glasses for team blue. Safety glasses for team blue. That's good sportsmanship, man. Team Blue now ready? Team Red ready? Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go! Autonomous round screaming out, grabbing, pulling back, holding on, and with 10 seconds now left in the autonomous round, grabbing another scope for the big one and bringing it back, trying to get it across. Five, four, three, two, one. End of the autonomous round. Judges determined, Team Blue the winner. Travel's round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Teams from All Saints, Bangor, and the main school of science and mathematics, you're lined up right now on the queuing table here on the humane field.
section 9243A, team 407-44C, team 6249C, and team 1897A getting ready to take the room field. So you tell us when you, should, when you want to show us some new numbers. Fifteen. Battling teams should be having their robots to the rim Q table. The rim Q table for 9343E, 2142-1S, 2142E, and 56S. Bring your machines to the rim queuing table. 30 seconds remain in the match number 12. 30 seconds remain in match number 12. Fifteen seconds remain. Mad scramble to grab what you can for the end of a big battle over the big post in the far corner with nine seconds remaining. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the match. We're back from the U main field. Next team's almost all set up. Missing one over there so far. Here are the results from match number 10. Match number 10. Team from Bangor and Cape Elizabeth teaming up for 66 points. Team Blue, Bangor and Mama teaming up for 60 points. Thank you, Zoe, for the qualifications for match number 10. She also has the numbers from match number 11. Big match we watched moments ago. Team Red teaming up to score 170 points. This is 116, a high scoring round on both sides for match number 11. A great event. Well worth the price of admission. Thank you, Zoe. All eyes back on the rim field here at John Baptist High School. Match number 13. Teams from Hamden Academy, Old Town, Booth Bay, and Wayne Fleet prepared to do battle. Next participants in the match, number 15. Go ahead and get your robots to the uh, cube table here. 9343E. 2142 1S, 2142 E, and 56. Safety glasses down. Or team red ready. Team blue ready. Judges. Autonomous round begins for match number 13 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! 15 seconds in order to motor it out. See what you might be able to do. Grabbing, squirreling, lifting, pulling back. 5, 4, Three, two, one. And the autonomous round. That is the color team blue. The winner of the autonomous round. Now the driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. Excellent. All the participants for the next round, 15, are set up at the table on for rim in the battle. One minute, less than one minute, 30 left in this match. Team Blue trying to carefully balance what might be a big point on their side of the team. Big fight now for the biggest post in the center of the room and coming up on one minute left in the match. So the repair going on on some of the big posts as volunteers reset the University of Maine field. And we've got all four participants ready to go into the next match on the U Maine field. Less than one minute left now. And one minute left, number 13, with uh, members of Old Town and Hamden Academy, both the region and Wayne Fleet trying to do their schools proud and their robotics work. 45 seconds left. 45 seconds left in the match. Now, 30 seconds left. There's a 30 second timer for the last moments of number 13. Catching, pushing, pulling, trying to get as many points as possible. Now, 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left in this match. 
And the team goes with a big steal of the big pass in the corner, trying to get it across within the last five seconds. Not sure if they're going to be able to pull it off in three, two, one, zero. End of match number 15. Judges will take a hard look and count the points on that rugged match. 15, 15, 16. These robots, these schools need to get the robots to the humane queuing table. The humane queuing table. Team 9343B. Team 9343B. Team 56H. Team 6249A. And Team 67, check that. Team 6476-2F. Bring your robots to the University of Maine queuing table. The first world watch match number 14 with members of the Maine School of Mathematics and Science, two from All Saints and Bangor High School. Kiwi tells us to look up at the big board to see some of the results that came in from match number 12, the matchup, the alliance between Cape Elizabeth and Brooklyn Harbor, also winning the autonomous round and scoring 108 points. Defeating Team Red with 40 points. Thank you, Zoe. Team 9343B, Team 56H, Team 6249A, and Team 64762F. Get your robots, if you would please, to the University of Maine for a queuing table. Safety glasses, team members. Safety glasses, team members. Thank you. Team red ready. Team blue ready. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. Autonomous round. Team Blue screaming out, grabbing a couple of pills. Ten seconds left, trying to make the move around. And with five seconds left, an opportunity to maybe bring one more point back to their side of the team. Is it supposed to click like that? And you get autonomous round. Team Blue is the winner. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! One minute and 45 seconds to scramble about, grab as many points as possible, get it to your side of the field, and maybe steal some glory from your opponents as they try to get those big posts first. Coming up on 130 left for qualification round number 14. These teams can report to the Humane Win. These teams can report to the University of Maine Q table, please. Team 9343B, Team 56H. Team 6449A and Team 6476-2F. If those are your robots, bring them over to the University of Maine queuing table, please. One minute left, approaching the one minute mark now for qualification round number 14. Approaching the 30-second mark. Approaching the 30-second mark now. 30 seconds left for number 30 seconds left in the 14th match. Team Red working to squirrel away and hold on to that big post on their side of the bench. With now 15 seconds left in the match. With 15 seconds left in the match. 10 seconds now remain. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the end of number 14. The following teams can bring their robots to the room queuing table. The following teams can bring their robots to the room queuing table. Team 2142D. Team 2142D, Team 6249C, Team 5146H, and Team 6476-2A. 
This is match number 15. This has teams from Hamden Academy, All Saints, Cape Elizabeth, and John Babson Alliances. Teams red, team blue. Safety glasses on. There you go. Team blue ready. Team red ready. The time of this round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Ten seconds left in the autonomous round. Five seconds left in the autonomous round. Everyone holding still now. Two, one. A tie. The judges call a tie in the autonomous round. The driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. Fireman teams have your robots please to the one field queuing table. The one field queuing table. 2142D, 6249C, 5146H, and 6476A. Bring those robots to the queuing table for the wind field, please. The following teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine queuing table. The following can bring their robots to the University of Maine queuing table. 20734A, 20734A, 20734B, 93303Z, and 21421E. If you just heard your robot, bring it over to the University of Maine Curing Table. 45 seconds remain in the competition in qualification round number 15. Approaching 30 seconds to remain. 30 seconds to remain. <laughs> 20 seconds left in a rough match between these competitors. That's going to leave a mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. End of the match. Judges, good luck tallying all that up. Match number 16 at the University of Maine Field sees members from Hamden Academy, Cape Elizabeth, Booth Bay, and Bangor in alliances. And Zoe tells us the results from the 13th match. 116 points on the board for Team Chad of the Wayne Fleet Flyers. Team Blue, 116 points. Defeating Team Red, scoring 60 points in match number 13. Judges are getting out a slide rule, trying to figure out some of the scoring from the previous match over at the rim field. Zoe also has the results of match number 14 for us with TWA and Timmy McTeamface scoring 106 points for Team Blue over Team Red scoring 40 points in the 14th round of qualifications. The following teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine field queuing table. These robots can come to the University of Maine queuing table. Team 20734A and 20734B. Team 93303Z and Team 2140. Check that. Team 21421E. Safety glasses down on all members. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Ten seconds left. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Team Red wins the autonomous round, now the driving round in five, four, three, two, one, go! No, 
a minute 30 left. Qualifications number 16. If you hear your robot's name, if you hear your team number, would you please bring your robot to the University of Maine field queuing bench? 20734A, 20734B, 93303Z, and 21421E. Up next, people from John Babs, Booth Bay, York, and Bangor will compete in the 17th match. We'll turn our attention back to the one field. These teams can bring their robots to the one killing table. These teams to the one killing table. The first, the 32nd mark. Right there for the 16th match. 30 seconds left in team, teams competing in match number 16. These teams can bring the robots to the one killing table. Team 1897A, Team 2142E, Team 64762D, and 56J. If you just heard your robot's name, bring it over to the rim field killing table. Five, four, three, two, one. A messy match, number 18. The judges will get out and try to make sense of it all. And we'll turn our attention back once again from the U main field over to the Wim field. Teams, you can take your position on the field. On Semiconductor is one of our sponsors of today's event. Our thanks to On Semiconductor for helping make robotics work and bringing teams like this together for events like this. Welcome all to John Babs, and thanks again to the volunteers for making today possible. Getting ready for number 17 in the matches. Match number 17, we'll see members from John Babs, Booth Bay, York, and Bangor High School competing for glory and honor. The following teams can have their robots if they haven't brought them already to the Wim Keeling table. 1897A, 2142E, 67762D, and 56J. Making sure safety glasses are down on all the participants in the round we're about to witness here at number 17. One of the purple donuts is out the ring. All right, team blue ready. Team red ready. Judges ready. Autonomous ready. Oh, low safety glasses. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> the 
Five seconds remain. Three, two, one. Autonomous round ends. It's a tie. Autonomous round is a tie. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one. Go! The following teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine queuing table. The following teams bring your robots to the University of Maine queuing table. Team 6476-2B. Team 2142-1H. Team 4293-S. And Team 9343-B. Those teams bring your robots to the queuing table for the U-Main field. Coming up on the one-minute mark now. Coming up on the one-minute mark for... One-minute mark now on match number 17 in the rim field. Uh, the post in the corner is hung up with a donut under it, making it difficult to grab. 40 seconds remain. 40 seconds remain now in this match. 1897A, 2142E, 6476-2D, and 56J. Please have your robots ready. Get them to the queuing table here in front of the rim field. With 20 seconds now left in the match. 20 seconds left in the match. Ten seconds remain. Don't know if that post is going to be able to get wedged somehow out of that corner. It's close. Two, one. End of 17. Judges will take a good hard look. Looking up to the big board to see if there are any scores now to show from any of the previous matches. Match number 15, Team Blue, the combination of the alliance between Cape Elizabeth and Bangor, scoring 133 points. While the Cyber Saints and the Gearheads from Bangor, All Saints, and from Hamden Academy scoring 43 in match number 15. Match number 18 now in the rim field, in the new main field rather. Teams from Old Town, Monmouth, and All Saints Catholic School in Bangor are ready to compete. Following members, following robots to the U Main, following robots to the U Main queuing table, please. 6476-2B, 2142-1H, 4393S, and 9343B come to the queuing table in front of the U Main field. Volunteers, thank you for scrambling, resetting the rim field. We'll be back to you shortly. Turning our attention now for the match for number 18. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Glasses on, judges ready. Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go! Two, one, zero. Autonomous round goes to Team Blue. Next, the driving round in five, four, three, two, one, go. Robots 40, check that. Robots 6476-2B. Robot 2142-1H. Robot 4393S and Robot 9343B report to the U main queuing table. Balance is just about done resetting the rim field, and then we'll let those participants take the field. Less than one minute left in the match at the U-Main field. Less than one minute left in the match. 
for the members of teams participating in match number 18, Old Town High School, All Saints, Monmouth Academy, all vying for last minute points that they can possibly grab. Less than 30 seconds remain. Less than 30 seconds remain in the match number 18. Less than 30 seconds remain. Approaching 10 seconds. Approaching 10 seconds left on the clock. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, time! Walking back to the rim field. Thank you again, volunteers, for making today possible in the next competition at John Bapps Memorial High School. One, two, three, four. All four members on the floor. Ready for round number 19. Zero has more scores to show with you. Turn your attention up to the big board. You remember match number 16, the Robots of Bangor and the Birth Bay team scoring together, allying in Team Blue, getting 140 points. 86 points for Team Red in number 16. Also, the results from match number 17, we were called, we knew this was going to be a close one, and it was a 10 point spread. Team Red from Bangor and Booth Bay aligned to score 133 points, narrowly defeating also 123 points for Team Blue. That's the results from the match number 17. Thank you, Zoe. Judge is taking a closer look and making sure that team, the win field is perfectly aligned ahead of the competition, which we will see shortly between members of the Green Fleet, John Baffs, Bangor High School, and Cape Elizabeth Schools. The following robotics teams can bring their gear to the win field. We'll tell you those numbers in just a moment. Safety glasses down. Safety glasses down. Thank you. Safety glasses on all around. Team Blue ready. Team Blue ready. Team Red ready. Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go! 15 seconds to do your best. Almost helping the opposing team by jamming the big post right into their device now with six, five, four, three, two, one. And the great autonomous round, Team Blue, the winner, driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Teams, if you, this is your robot, please bring it to the rim queue table, please. Bring these robots to the rim queuing table now. Team 64762F, Team 56R, Team 9343A, and Team 56S. If those are your robots, bring them over to the queuing table for the rim field now. A minute 15 left in match number 19, as we see members of Cape Elizabeth and Bangor in an alliance against John Babs and Wayne Fleet, and the robots flying across the field, scooping up the donuts and grabbing the big post. A big grab by the Pink Duck, trying to balance it on the center with one minute left in the match. Trying to secure the balance, less than one minute left in match number 19. These robotics teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine queuing table now. These teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine queuing table now. Team 4393X, 21421 a 9343E, and 41404A. Less than 20 seconds remain in match number 19. Final moments to scramble. Pink Duck trying to make the balance. Now with 10 seconds remaining. 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, 
two, one. A scrap to the very end in the match. We'll see what the judges have to say. And we'll take a walk over to the University of Mainfield. Results win from Zoe on match number 18. Blue team scoring 86 points, also taking the autonomous round and defeating Team Red 86 to 60. Match number 20 has members of Bangor High School, All Saints, the main school of mathematics and science. Thanks for driving a long way today, gang. And Hamden Academy, who didn't drive as far. In this match, Team Red and Team Blue, the following robots, teams... You can line up already. It looks like you already have. 4393X, 2142-1A, 9343E, and 41404A. You're going to be in round 22 after the action here on the rim field. The following robots can find their way to the rim queuing table, the rim queue table, if you're not already there yet. Actually, I'll hold up on those numbers until the field is cleared from the last round. Judges so starting over, we look like we got a pretty good bench set up. we got a pretty good field set up for match number 20. Team Blue, safety glasses on and ready. Team Red, safety glasses on and ready. Team Red, safety glasses on, thank you. Autonomous round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Team Blue speeding out, grabbing, pulling back. Now with 10 seconds to remain. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the autonomous round. Team Blue, the winner. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Next round of robots for the, uh, match number 22, all set to go, ready to go, thank you very much. 22, 21, 21, 23. These robots can find their way to the rim queuing table, rim queuing table now. From 93303F, 93303F, 20734C, 56G and 56H, two teams from Cape Elizabeth, Old Town, and Monmouth. You bring your robots, please. Get yourself set up on the queuing table for the rim field. One minute left now. Carefully balancing one, two, three big yellow posts on the blue team side of the field with less than one minute left in match number 20. And working to stack even another post up on the side About 30 seconds left in the match. 30 seconds left in the match. Scrambling about trying to suck up as many of the paper guards as possible. 30 seconds now remain. 30 seconds remain in what could be a pretty high scoring match for match number 20. Now 20 seconds to remain. 20 to remain. 15, 14, 13, 12. Five, four, three, two, one. End of match, and we'll see how those numbers stack up. Remember that it was match number 20. Going to be some big numbers to stack up and report to you. Back over to the wind field. Round number 21 in just a moment or two. Texas Instruments is another sponsor of today's event here, the robotics competition at John Bass High School. Texas Instruments, thank you for supporting robotics. Thank you for supporting the future of education during our meet today. The following robots can report to the rim queuing table. Rim queuing table for 93303F, 20734C, 56G, and 56H. Bring those robots, if you would please, to the queuing table in front of the rim field. 
Zoe's got numbers for us. Zoe shows us that Team Blue won the, the 19th match of the day with 137 points, the alliance between Bangor and Cape Elizabeth. Bangor and Portland, the Wayne Fleeters, teaming up for 121 points in match number 19. Thank you, Zoe. Looks like volunteers have done a fine job setting up the rim field for us for our 21st match today. Judges will come over and take a look and make sure it looks right to them. We'll also make sure that all the participants have safety glasses at least somewhere on their head, ready to draw them down for the competition, including the young lady who's blonde, and she just put the glasses down good. Thank you very much. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. On your mark, autonomous round. Get set, autonomous round. Go! 15 seconds to go out. Grab, see what you can secure. Bring back to your side of the field for what will be the autonomous round. Now with five seconds remaining, no one seems to be making a move. Sitting pretty and Team Red wins the autonomous round. Grabbing one begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! We see three of four robots ready for what will be the 23rd round. If you have not yet brought your robot to the queuing table for the room field, please do so. 93303F, 20734C, 56G, and 56H. This is match number 21, about a minute 20 left, trying to wedge some of the units under the team's balance bench on one side of the board where there's a big fight over in the far corner trying to grab and out of the center of the field the big post worth all of those points. Approaching one minute left. Approaching one minute left. Balancers, blush it, scrambling, resetting the bench. Now we're going to check the bonnet in the center of the field. Excellent job getting ready for the next match. Nice job, TJ. Thank you so much. 40 seconds remain. 4-0. 40 seconds remain for the fight for the big post in the center in match number 21. As Team Red tries to grab it, bring it to the other side of the field. Team Blue trying to block using Bill Robot. 30 seconds remain now in this match. 30 seconds. How do those watching as we stream our event worldwide? Next time you're in the state of Maine, the fresh air and the lobster is on us. 15 seconds remain. 15 seconds remain. Last minute strategies trying to balance. All we can do to score some final points. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So runs high fives all the way around for Team Red. Judges will take a look and see what they scored for points in the match. Match number 22, participants taking the field now. Team McTeam faced possibly a mistake. The Gearheads and the Trojans from the main school of science and mathematics, all states, and the Academy of Thornton Academy coming and taking the rim field. These following robots can refer to the rim queuing table. These robots can come to the rim queuing table. 6249A, 2142H, 2142-1S, and 6249B. Zoe, you got some numbers to share with us? Up on the big board, we told you this was going to be a high-scoring match. And the alliance between the Limestone School and Hamden scoring 249 points in their match. Over well, Team Red with 110. Big scoring match. Thank you, Zoe. The results for match number 20. For match number 22, looking around for Team Red, making sure everyone's got their safety goggles on. Team Blue, making sure everyone's got their safety goggles on. It appears they do. Guys are a little close on the side. We're not sure if you don't like the goggles or the goggles don't like you, but we're glad you got them on now. Scoring some room away from the sides, judges. Team blue ready? Team red ready? Judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go! 
15 seconds, out to scramble, grabbed for two of the post in the center, including the big one, scored and locked away for a team blue. With now seven seconds left, grabbing a second, bringing it across. Now with four seconds to remain, big strategy to open. And the time of the round goes to team blue. The driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! We're calling the following robots to the queuing table for the University of Mainfield. Following robots to the queuing table for the University of Mainfield. Team 6249A. Team 2142H. Team 2142-1S. And Team 6249B. Are those your robots? Bring them over to the queuing table for the University of Maine. Those robots that are ready to go, bring them over from the queuing table for rim. Get them over onto the rim field. One, two, three. Less than one minute left for competition number 22. Competition number 23, looking for all four, one, two, three, four. That's all in place. Good. Thank you. Coming up in 30 seconds to remain. 30 seconds to remain in the competition at the end for number 22. 30 seconds now to remain. Big stack of posts on one side for Team Blue, holding them tight. Team Red, big battle over in the corner fighting to try to place and get one more post on top of the balance bench. Now with 14 seconds to remain, see if the teams can grab them, somehow get them, score them away in the final seven seconds of the match. Five, four, three, two, one. The end of 22. Thank you, teams. Teams for match number 24, 6249A, 2142H, 2142-1S, and 6249B. Get yourselves to the queuing table in front of the room field as the judges count the score. One, two, three, four robots set up for the competition. Number 23, teams from Cape Elizabeth, Old Town, and Monmouth Academy ready to do battle. The following robots can come and set up in front of the rim field, the rim queuing table. The following robots to the rim queuing table. 9343B, 56S, 20734B, and 64762A. If those are your robots, bring them over in front of the rim field over to the rim queuing table. Thank you. Zero puts up on the big board some number nine, more numbers from match number 21. The robots of Bangor, along with Cape Robotics from Cape Elizabeth, scoring a combined 116 points in their alliance over the Gearheads in self-destruct system, carrying 80 points in qualification round number 21. Thank you, Zoe. Again, Team 9343B, Team 56S, Team 207-34B, and team, team 67, check that, Team 64-76-2A. Set up your robots on the queuing table for the rim field, please. Judges so taking a look at the field, making sure it looks okay to them. Checking to see the safety glasses are on all the way around. Thank you. <clears throat> see that last donut right there? That one. Nope. Yep. There you go. Red team ready. Blue team ready. Blue team ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round. Number 23. In three, two, one, go. Autonomous round screaming out of room, battling over one particular post. Scooping up a couple of purples, bringing them over. Six seconds remain. 
five, four, three, two, one. It's on our side over. Team Blue, the winner. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one. Go! The following teams can bring their robots to the University of Maine Field queuing bench. The UMaine queuing bench. Team 4393X. Team 10734A. Team 64762F. And Team 64762B. If those are your robots, they need to be over at the queuing table in front of the University of Maine field. The following robot shall be ready to play on the U-Main field coming up. The following robot shall be ready for the next round. 6249A, 2142H, 2142-1S, and 6249B. If those are yours, you should be on the field setting up right now <laughs> at Maine. 30 seconds remain in competition number 23. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. End of the competition for 23. Competition number 24. One, two, three, four robots here. 6249A. 2142H. 2142-1S. 6249B, all fills in and accounted for. If the fill looks good to you, judges. If the safety glasses are down or on, we can say, Team Blue ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. With 15 seconds now on the board for the autonomous round, spinning about, making some slow moves, getting in, grabbing something, maybe grabbing it, pulling it back. Now with five seconds to remain. It's a tie in the autonomous round. Now the driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! Now down to a minute 30, a minute 30 in the autonomous round, battling between Team Red, Team Blue, and the U-Main field. Following robots to the U-Main queuing table, following robots to the U-Main queuing table, 4393X, 20734A, 6476-2F, and 6476-2B, two from Bangor High School, one from Old Town, one from the Limestone School of Mathematics and Science. Please bring your robots to the killing table in front of the U main field now. Thank you, volunteers from All Saints Scrambling right now to set up the field for what will be the next competition, number 25. Those participants are ready to take the field. Reaching 45 seconds to remain in match number 24. And approaching the 30-second mark. Approaching the 30-second mark now. Now with six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. 
Going to take a look for the judges to unscramble that one. Thank you, participants. 4393X, 20734A, 6476F, and 6476-2B. Go ahead and get lined up at the University of Mainfield Killing Table now, if you would. One, two, three, four. Robots all set up and ready to go in front of the rim field. And a field that looks pretty good. Thank you, volunteers. Even as you guys are set up, let's let the next teams know. One, two, three. These are the robots that can now set up at the rim kill table. 21421E, 56G, 6249C, and 56R. You got one of those robots. You can bring it now over to the queuing table in front of the rim field, the rim competition field. Zoe shows us more numbers up on the big board. Recent competition, match number 22. Whoa, 196 points from the collaboration of the Hampton Academy Gearheads and the Trojans. Team Red from Bangor and the Limestone School of Mathematics and Science scoring 90 points. Qualification round number 22. Thank you, Zoe. That's number 23, 126 points for the team from Cape Elizabeth versus the Team Calamity and the Appendices from Monmouth, 80, 126 to 80 in match number 23. Team Blue, the winner there. Judges taking a final look and making sure that the field looks good, set up and ready to go for match number 25. Forty-two, one E, fifty-six G, fifty-six R, and sixty-two, forty-nine C. Bring your robots, get them set up if you would at the rim kill table, the rim killing table. Team Red Good, Team Blue Good, Judges Good, the Tournament Fire for number 25 begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Racing out front, grabbing as fast as they can with 10 seconds left in the autonomous round. Bit of a competition going on. Now 6 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Contact on the field during the autonomous round. Team Blue wins the autonomous round. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go! We're watching the action right now on the rim field. Next round participants taking their positions on the U main field thanks to the fast work by the volunteers in setting up the field. Even with one minute and 20 seconds left in match number 25, we're calling the next round of robots to the rim field. Team 2142-1E, Team 2142-1E, Team 56G, Team 56R, and Team 6249C, you can place your robots now on the queuing table in front of the rim field. One minute left, one minute left in match number 25. Big fight in the near corner, battling over one position and the big post in the center. Approaching the 30-second mark for match number 25. Approaching the 30-second mark. 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds remain. The following teams can bring their robots to the U-Main Q tables. The U-Main Q tables. 93, 3303F. 93, 303F. 4 and 4, 04A. 10 seconds remaining. 
2142H and 9343A. Bring your arrests to the main post. Two, one. End of match number 27. The judges will ensemble who got how many points in that match. And the next round of robots ready to go. One, two, three. One more robot set to somehow appear. At the room table right now. At the room table right now. 56R. 56G. 2649C. And 2142-1E. One, two, three, four. Now they're all there. Excellent. Thank you. Qualification round number 26. One, two, three, four. All four participants ready to go. Even as we're ready for match number 26 to begin, we'll call the following robots to the University of NQ table. The following robots to the University of NQ table, 93303F, 4104A, 42, check that, 2142H, and 9343A. Those following robots can report to the three that are not yet there can come to the queuing table here, the University of Maine table. Zoe tells us the results are in for match number 24 with the red team combining the wannabe Haydens and team 6249A from Booth Bay with 103 points, team blue with 83 points, and a DQ, unfortunately, in the middle of the match of number 24. Now looking at match number 26, judges taking a last look around at the way that the field is set up, seeing if it can be exactly precise. Everyone gets a fair advantage. All right, Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in five, four, three, two, one, go! 15 seconds on the board. Once a quick steal in the very center. Two posts snagged by Team Blue with five seconds to remain. Three, two, one. Autonomous round ends. It's a tie. Driving round begins in five, Four, three, two, one, go! Match up for 26. Two teams from Bangor High School, one from Old Town, one from the Main School of Science and Mathematics, working to impress, streaming live on the internet. Hello to the audience at home. Thanks for joining us for the robotics meet at John Babs High School. Now, one minute, 20 seconds left in this match. Start watching for one robot to appear at the U-Main queuing table for what will be the next round on the U-Main field. 93303F, 41404A, 2142H, and 9343A. All should be here, ready to go. Right now, teams are ready to take all the room field for what will be match number 27. One, two, three, four robotics teams ready to take their position on the field for the team for the next rim battle. Now, 40 seconds left for number 26. 46. <laughs> 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds remain in the battle for uh, match number 26. Now, 
have 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <coughs> Match number 27 will see participants from All Saints Catholic School, Cape Elizabeth High School, and Booth Bay Regional competing. Team Red, Team Blue. And we'll call the following robots to the queuing table in front of the rim field. These following robots to the queuing table in front of the rim field. Team number 20734C. Team, uh, team 20734C. Team 6249B. Team 6249B. Team 2142E. And Team 2142-1H. Team 2142-1H. I'm negligent in listening to Zoe when she tells me to look up at the big board and see the scores. Team Red in uh, match number 25, the Gearheads, and the team from Skip Elizabeth, the self destruct system, scoring 120 points. The Blue team, combining uh, the talents of Old Town High School and Bangor, scoring 96. Zoe, thank you for the results of number 25. Judge Hunter, how you doing, buddy? All right. Are the judges ready to go? Red team ready? Blue team ready? Judges ready. A ton of a for number 27. Three, two, one, go! End of the autonomous round. Team Blue is the winner. Driving round begins in five, four, three, two, one, go. You're watching members of All Saints Catholic School, Cape Elizabeth, Booth Bay Regional. All competing Team Red, Team Blue, and Alliances trying to score as many points as they can in the final one minute and 27 seconds of match number 27. I see one, two, three, four robots all set to go lined up at the room queue table for what will be the match after the next one when we turn our attention over to the University of Maine field. But right now, four robots are taking the field, four teams ready to compete. One minute remains. One minute remains in the match number 27. The following robots can come to the queuing table in front of the U-Main field. The following robots can come to the queuing table in front of the U-Main field. 5156H. 9343E. 2649A and there's a 30 second mark in this one. 1897A. Those following robots come. Take your position on the field, the queuing table rather, the queuing table in front of the main field. 15 seconds remain. 15 seconds remain now. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. End of the match. Well done, teams. We'll leave it to the judges to unscramble who scored how many points in that competition. The Manson Foundation is another sponsor of today's event. We thank the Manson Foundation for supporting children, supporting students, supporting robotics, and supporting academics in today's next robotics competition. We turn our attention over to the University of Mainfield, Hamden Academy, Thornton Academy, John Babs. Thanks for hosting us today, JB, and Monmouth Academy, ready to compete. Team Red, Team Blue. Call the following teams, robots if you aren't yet there yet. We'll see one present, three waiting for... 5156H, 9343E, 6249A, and 1897A. We're going to be the match after this one on this field just a short time away. Judge is still scrambling, trying to figure out what just happened over on the rim field and determine how many points were scored by how many people. for the judges to figure out who scored how much. The results are in for teams uh, competing in uh, match number 26. Uh, the Robots and the United Synthetic Systems of America combining for 153 points. Unfortunately, a DQ on number 26 and 83 points for Team Red in uh, match number 26. Team Blue wins with 153 points. Thank you, Zoe.
ready to continue with the competitions now, coming back to the University of Mainfield for match number 28. Blue team ready? Red team ready? The judge is ready. On your mark, autonomous round. Get set, go! Screaming out. One's going for the center. One's scooping for the side. One bringing back with 10 seconds to remain. Nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time this round, Team Red wins, driving round in three, two, one, go! A fight in the far corner for as many of the remaining posts as possible. One minute remaining, one minute remaining in the competition. Oh, in the center of the field, almost a flip. Forty-five seconds remain, forty-five seconds remain. Seconds now in the match, 30 seconds remain. Twenty seconds now, twenty seconds. Counting down the funnel. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the competition. Thank you, teams. Next set of robots all set to go. Thanks for your patience. Volunteers will be over after the judges are done, and they will uh, reset the field for you when your competition ahead. Missing one robot at the table ahead of the rim field for what will be match number 31. 56J, 21421A, 4393S, and 56H. Those four robots, whoever's remaining, please come join us at the killing table in front of the rim field. And we're ready to see the field in its final positioning for match number 29. Participants from John Baps, All Saints, Booth Bay, and Old Town competing. Find out if the teams are ready. Blue team ready. Glasses in place. Thank you. Red team ready. Glasses in place. Judges. Autonomous round for 29 and 3, 2, 1, go! Out to a quick start. Grabbing, pulling, back. 10 seconds to remain. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the great time of this round, Team Blue is the winner, driving round in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Pink Ducks making a big snag, bringing the things back to the corner. Now a minute 30 left, making the big lift, the first one, oh, it just falls out of the hand. Once again, we'll try to snag it to see if we can balance it up on the board. Match 129 now, match 130. Match 30 is next. Thank you, volunteers, for setting up the board. 115 now. 115. Now 
have one minute left. We have one minute left. Second mark, third or second mark, right there. Final moments now of qualification round number 29. Final moments of number 29. 20 seconds to remain. Thank you, robotic participants, bringing your robots and getting them set up on the killing table for what will be your match number 31 shortly. 10 seconds remaining. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, end of the match. 31 is next on this field. Thank you, team players, for being ready to go. Zoe tells us to look our eyes up on the big board and see what happened if the number 27 match, a DQ, but still 94 points scored by the red team uh, to defeat the team from Cape Elizabeth and Booth Bay with 86, 94-86. The results, Team Red wins qualification round number 27. We'll call the participants for the robotics match number 32. We'll call the participants for robotics match 32 to the queuing table for the U Main field now. That will include... Team 64762D, 64762D, Team 21421S, Team 21421S, Team 40, Team 2142D, and Team 93303Z. Those following robots can come and perch, if you will, in front of the U Main field. And zoe has got the results of what happened with number 28. Team Red scoring 196 points. Team Blue with zero on the board. And qualification number 28, Team Red, the team from Monmouth and Saco, beating Team Blue. How's the field look to you, judges? Team Red ready? Team Blue ready? And if the judges are ready, the autonomous round for 30 begins in 3, 2, 1, go! 15 seconds on the board. Team's moving ever so slowly. And the start now with 7 seconds to remain. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Autonomous round ends. Team Blue wins. Now the driving round in 3, 2, 1, go! Now with 1 minute 45 seconds total in the driving round. Snagging, placing, best they can. Many of the posts dragging them back. Position them as they might on their team's board. 125 now left in the match. Right to the big post in the center, falling over on its side. Team Red working to balance best it can. Need only do a quick spin to see if it can get itself into a position to come down and see if it can spin and grab that big post in the center. Approaching the one minute mark now. Approaching the one minute mark. Oh. Forty-five seconds remain. Forty-five seconds remain in a fight in the center of the field over the big post. Placing, drawing it to one side. With the thirty-second mark, thirty-second point. Fifteen seconds remain. Fifteen seconds remain. 
takes it down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. End of match number 30. Judges taking the field, taking a good hard look. Setting up for match number 20, check that, match number 31. Lunch break soon to come, but we'll finish the matches of the morning. I will call to the queuing table in front of the rim field. Queuing table in front of the rim field. Queuing table in front of the rim field. Four bets, 64762 a 64762 a Four bets, 41404A. 2142E and 2142-1E. You just heard your robot. Bring it to the queuing table in front of the rim field, please. Match number 31, we see members of All Saints Catholic School competing against Cape Elizabeth and the Main School of Sciences and Math. Let's hope we can get all of our glasses in place. All the way around. Team Red ready? Team Blue ready? Both judges ready? Three, autonomous round in three, two, one, go! Screaming out to the start, grabbing, snagging, pulling back, holding in place. Now 10 seconds still remain. Two, one, zero. Interesting start. Team Red takes the autonomous round. Driving round in three, two, one, go! <laughs> now with a minute thirty left on the board, a minute thirty left on the board. Members for match number 32 ready to come on and take to the field. All four robots in place. Thank you, volunteers, for resetting the field. Participants for number 33 coming in. One minute left on the board. One minute left on the match for this match of 31. And a big battle on the side over on Team Red. Doing some serious damage to the balance board for the red side of the field. 42 seconds remain. Grabbing, holding, placing, placing. <laughs> 30 seconds remain in a hard fought battle. With Team Red and Team Blue, it's tough to tell who's going to score the most points at this point. But not giving up, fighting for the last second here. Now with 15 on the board, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here's the game. Somebody lost some component out of the middle of the field, and a, it was like a sprocket or two. We'll call the medics. Participants for the last match of the morning will be the participants of 33. Let's make sure you guys are set up, if you would, on the cue table on the rim side. The rim cue table. We're about 647625A. We're about 41404A. We're about 2142E. And we're about 2142E. So he's got some numbers to share with us up on the big board from qualification number 29. 
121 points for the blue team, the Flat Earth Society and the Raptors playing for Bangor. Old Town and Birthday teaming up on Team Red, scoring 20 points in match number 29 in our Vex Robotics competition at John Babs Memorial High School today. Second to the last match of the morning before we take our lunch break, team. In match number 32, we'll see members of Bangor area, uh, excuse me, Bangor High School, along with All Saints, John Babs, and Monmouth Academy competing in alliances, Team Red and Team Blue. Again, the final match of the morning will be match number 33, and that will see the following teams that should be now setting up, queuing up in front of the rim field. 6476-2A, the Band of the Hawk. 41404A, the Trojans. 2142E, the Flat Earth Society. And 2142-1E, Phoenix. Those members, set up if you will please, on the cube table in front of the Wim Stadium. Let's come back to match number 32. Let's see if all the glasses are down. Blue team, ready? Red team, glasses on, ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Screaming out to the start, reached, snagged, didn't grab it necessarily. Ten seconds remain, a chance to do something. Trying to put something up on both sides of the bench. Six seconds, five seconds remain now. Three, two, one. Autonomous round ends. Team Red, the winner. Driving round begins in three, two, one, go. Minute 45 on the board as we see the robots start to scurry around, see if they can do their best to grab a post, draw it back to their section, or maybe place it on the balance board, and to put the donuts on the floor, some matter of points. Fight over the big post in the center, dragging it best it can back to blue team's side. Still some resistance from red team, scrappy, if anything, getting into the corner. Coming up on one minute left, one minute left in this match, the 32nd match of the day. Thirty seconds remain, thirty seconds for zero runs. And the 30-second mark now, the 30-second mark for the final moments. Grabbing what you can, scrolling over what you can. Now, coming to the 15-second mark, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, everyone standing down. One, end of the match. You get three. Two, thank you. Final match of the morning before our lunch break. The match number 33. And looking to see if all four robots are on the floor. Whom are we missing? Looking for Flat Earth Society. John Babs, Flat Earth Society, Robot 2142E. John Babs team, Robot 41, check that, Robot 2142E. You got some final seconds to find your way to the Rim Stadium.
Zay tells us we have numbers from uh, match number 31, a Team Red, the collaboration with the Long Earth Society from Cape Elizabeth and Blango scoring 96 points over Limestone with a DQ and Cape Robotics scoring 80 points in a very interesting match, number 31. The Pink Ducks have made it to the floor. And Rick Zay is telling us we have scores from number 32 as well. Where we saw Monmouth teaming up with a Scorpion team from Bangor to score 142 points, 96 points for the Cyber Saints and DWA for match number 32. Match number 33 is our last match of the morning. Are they supposed to be they're okay in the corner? Are they supposed to touch or something? Yep. Members lined up in the tile, ready to go. Glasses on. Red team ready. Blue team ready. The judges ready. Match 33. A title this round in three, two, one, go. Grabbing, pulling, grabbing the big center, snagging, pulling it back to the side. Now we're Eight seconds remaining in the autonomous round. Coming back. Three, two, one. <laughs> Team Red wins the autonomous round. Let's have a great driver's round. In three, two, one, go! 140. Check that. One minute, 30 seconds on the board. Grabbing, snagging what you can. Pink Ducks coming, making the placement. Well balanced. Now making a move around the side. Flip in the center of the board. Now with less than one minute, less than one minute in match number 33. Final match of our morning. Feels like the trolls have snagged themselves under the balance bar of the opposing team now with 30 <laughs> seconds left in the match. Typical might be able to wiggle its way free, and if it does, it might throw off the balance and maybe jeopardize some of the points of the opposing team. Now with 18 seconds left to do so, 15. It's going to be a tough thing to do in the final moments with the trolls, but here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... We'll leave it to the judges to count them up. We'll take our lunch break. We'll be back with our afternoon competition, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. We'll continue our match this afternoon.
them to. For those back in the auditorium, we'll get underway with our next match in the U Main Forum. The next match in the U Main Forum. Who's missing from the match? 6249B. Good to see you. 93303F. Here. 9334B. 9443B from Hamden. Hamden? Team from Hamden, are you guys ready to bring your your robot over? Team from Hamden. Oh. As the final things are being set, the next set of teams can come to set up in front of Team Rim, in front of uh, the Rim Q. Sixty-two forty-nine C. 6249A, 2142-1A, and 56S. Those robotic teams can come to the Q desk in front of the RIM stadium. Glasses down. Red team ready? Blue team ready? Blue team, thumbs up, Hamden. Judge is ready. Autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go! Six two four nine C, six two four nine A, twenty one forty two one A, and five six S setting up in front of rim. And the autonomous round is over. It's a tie. Dive around begins in three, two, one, go! That's battling in the center of the ring, trying to grab one, maybe even two of the big pieces over to the side of blue team. A minute twenty-five left. This team putting members of the Main School of Science and Mathematics, Hamden Academy, Monmouth Academy, and Baker Ridge and High School, coming to the one-minute mark, approaching the one-minute mark. Over in front of the RIM auditorium, in front of the RIM stage, 6249C, 6249A, 21421A, and 56S. All in place now. Excellent. Approaching 40 seconds left in match number 34. Approaching 43 seconds left in match. 30 seconds. There we get to the 32nd mark. Coming to the final 15. The final 15. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of the match 34. Well done. Pick up the pieces. I'm going to be bold and say go ahead and take your place on the field. Already lining up in front of the U Main on the Q stage, teams 2142D, 9343E, 20744A, and 56H. Thank you. Q 
stage. These teams can set up on the rim queue desks. In the rim queue desks, you can set up 21, 42, 1H, 93, 43A, 56G, and 51, 56H. Those following robots, you can set up on the queue in front of the rim auditorium. 2142 one h 93 43 a 56 g and 51 56 h judges these contestants are ready to battle in front of you Team red and team blue. Glasses down, please. Glasses down, young lady. Thank you. Team blue ready? Team red ready? Judges ready? Autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go! Ten seconds remain. Very careful start. Now two seconds, then Team Red wins the autonomous round, Bravo's round, in three, two, one, go! The following robots can set up on the queue, can queue up on the desk in front of the rim form. The following robots can queue up on the rim desk, 21421H, 9343A, 5656G and 5156H. If those are your robots, go ahead and bring them to the key desk in front of the rim forum. But right now, members of Berkeley Regional High School, All Saints Catholic School, and Cape Elizabeth are battling it out. With nearly one minute left on the board, one minute left in the time. Thank you, volunteers, for setting up and resetting our stages each time. Approaching 45 seconds, approaching 45 seconds. The following robots can find their way to the Q stage, the Q desk in front of the humane stage. The following robots. 30 seconds remain in the battle for qualification 35. 1897A, 1897A, Q desk in front of you, Maine. 93303Z, 2142H, and 56R in front of the Q, onto the Q desk in front of you, Maine. Battle 35 down to 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Time up for 37. Well done, contestants. Still looking for one robot on the key desk in front of the rim form right now. Looking for one more robot yet to be set up on the rim. Sixty-four Zane's got more scores to show you from last match, 34. Match number 34. Team from Limestone and Hampton, Team Blue, allying to a tie, 63-63 with Team Red. Glasses down, please. Glasses down and up. Team Red ready. Team Blue ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round for qualification round number 36. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds remain. Five, four, three, two, one. Team blue wins round in three, two, one, 
go. Watching Team 36, watching Match 36 right now. Members of John Brown, Hampton Academy, Old Town and Keep Elizabeth. The following robots can come to the Q desk in front of the U main forum. The following robots can come to the Q desk in front of the U main forum. 1897A, 1897A, 93303Z, 93303Z, 2142H, 2142H, and 56R, 56R. Those following robots can come to the queue in front of the U main stage. One minute left in the battle, underway at the U main stage. Judge now welcoming the robots to come on to the rim stage now. Those robots in queue come to the rim stage now. Thank you. Set up, please. The following robots can come to the queue in front of the rim stage. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left in match number 36. Following robots can come now to the WIM Q. 6476 2D, 6476-2D, 4393S, 4393S, 20734C, 20734C, and 6476-2F. 3, 2, 1. End of competition. Well done, gang. Judges will take a close look at the U-Main stage, tally up the totals, turn our attention to the WIM stage now for competition number 37. Match number 37, students from All Saints Catholic School, Hampton Academy, Cape Elizabeth High School, and York High School. The following robots can come to the Q desk in front of the room forum for the following match. The following robots to the Q desk in front of room for the following match. 6776 2D, 4393S, 207-34C from Old Town, and 6476-2F from Bangor High School. Safety glasses on. Well done. Judges now coming into place to watch match number 37. Looks good. Blue team ready. Red team ready. The judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. 15 seconds out for a quick snag, pushing, grabbing. Miss the snag, back in, in safe. Seven seconds, six seconds. Blue team wins the autonomous round. Drive around begins in three, two, one, go! The following robots to the queue desk in front of the rim forum, please. The following robots to the queue desk in front of the rim forum, please. 6476-2D, 6476-2D from Bangor High School, 4393-S from Limestone, 4393-S from Limestone, 207-34-C from Old Town, 207-34-C from Old Town, and 6476-2F from Bangor High School. As we approach now, one minute on the clock for the match, number 37. One minute on the clock. The following robots can make their way to the key stage in front of the rim forum. Uh, check that. The following robots in front of the U main forum. The 
30 seconds remaining, 30 seconds remaining. Looking for robots 1897A. 1897A, ready to compete. 93303Z, ready to compete at the humane stage. 93303Z. 2142H on the humane stage. 2142H to the humane stage. 56R to the humane stage. 56R. Two. One. End of match 37. Judges will take a look. 37. Sitting up for match number 38 now, match number 38. The only robot on the stage at this point, 1897A. All right. Members of Blue Team for the competition, 38. Members of Blue Team from John Bath and Cape Elizabeth, 2142H and 56R. 2142H and 56R. Twenty-one forty-two H. There you are. Twenty-one forty-two H. You can come down and take your place now on the on the floor. One, two, three. All four robots at the queue for the next match at 39. Thank you for being ready, teams. Appreciate it very much. Hang tight. Volunteers scrambling. Going to reset your stage for you. Be ready for you shortly. Red team ready? Blue team ready? Glasses down. Red team ready. Red team ready. Thank you. Blue team ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. One second left. Blue team wins the autonomous round. Drive around now for 38 in 3, 2, 1, go! The following robots can report to the queue desk in front of the rim stage. The following robots can report to the queue desk in front of the rim stage now. 21, 42, 1E. 21, 42, 1E. Also, 56S, 2142D, and 6249B. Those robots can report to the queue desk in front of the rim forum. Approaching one minute now and a big traffic jam in the far corner for match number 38, in which we see members of Wayne Fleet, Monmouth, John Dabsky, Cape Elizabeth battling it out. Less than one minute now, less than one minute now.
Thank you again to all the volunteers helping out make today's meet move fast, efficient, and flow seamlessly. Approaching the 30-second mark, approaching the 30-second mark for the match number 38. <laughs> Fifteen seconds remain. Now to the ten second mark. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is tie it up if you would. Lining up now in queue. Lining up now in queue in front of the U main stage. Lining up now in queue in front of the U main stage. Fifty six J. 2142-1S, 207-34B, and 6476-2B. Judges will be over in a moment. We'll watch the teams taking part in competition number 39, members of Bangor Area High School, Old Town, and the main school of science and mathematics in Limestone. Zero's watching some numbers up on the big screen, some results from some past matches. In match number 36, Team Red, Hamden, and Bangor teaming up for 96 big points. Blue team coming in with 86. Red team wins 36. Thank you, Zoe. Match number 39, safety glasses all around. Seeing them now. Blue team ready? Red team ready? Judges ready? Am I going too fast? Okay, good. Autonomous round in 3, 2, 1, Go! 15 seconds, I was quick, trying to make a snag. Pull it back, 10 seconds now. Autonomous round, winding down. Five, four, three, two, one. Under the autonomous round, that victory goes to Team Red. Drivers round now in three, two, one, go. The following robots to the cue desk in front of the rim form. The following robots to the cue desk in front of the rim form. 2142-1E. 2142-1E from All Saints. 56S from Cape Elizabeth. 56S from Cape Elizabeth. 2142-D from John Babst. 2142-D from John Babst. And 6249-B from both Bay. Make your way to the key desk in front of the rim forum now. Coming up on the one minute mark, one minute mark in battle number 36. There's the one minute mark, one minute left. Ready to welcome two. The U Main Forum now. Into the U Main Forum looking for 56J. 56J, 2142S, the Cyber Saints, 20.44B, 207.34B, and 6476-2B. 6476-2B. You heard it just a moment ago, less than 30 seconds left in match number 39. Final moments to place. See what you can do. Balance the best you can. Well placed. Now, 12 seconds. 12 seconds remain. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And the 41 judges will take a look. Well done. One. Match number 40 on the U main stage. Match number 40 on the U main stage. 56J is here. 207.34B is here. 6449B is here. Looking for 2142D. 2142D. 
Yeah, that's someone else. Waiting for the final robots to appear for qualification match number 40. Just a few more minutes. Up next, 41 will be in the rim stage with 21421E, 21421E, 56S, 2142D, and 6249B. You are due next on the rim stage after volunteers have reset the field. So bring your robots to the queue desk, please. Thank you. And the following robots can come to the queue desk. We'll get the numbers in just a moment. Team Red ready? Red team ready. Blue team ready. Judges ready. This is match number 40. Autonomous round in 3, 2, 1, go. Three, two, one. And the autonomous round, red team wins. Driver's round begins in three, two, one, go. The following robots to the queue desk in front of the U main stage, please. The following robots to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. 2142E. 2142E. 2142H, 2142H, 20734A, 20734A, and 6249C, 6249C. Those robots to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. One minute left in the competition of number 40 right now. One minute remains. Approaching 30 seconds in match number 40. 30 seconds in match number 40. And there's the 30 second mark. Twenty one forty two E and twenty one forty two H, as well as two oh seven thirty four A and sixty two forty nine C come to the Q table, come to the Q table in front of the humane stage. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zoe's fashion scales up on the screen to show you what happened in match number 39. DWA and the Thicker Society scoring 211 points. 
versus Team Blue. The Robots of Bangor and Old Town High School Calamity scoring 70 points in match number 39. Thank you, Zoe. Glasses on, glasses on. Team Red ready, Team Blue ready for match number 31. Judges ready. Let's go to this round in three, two, one, go. We're watching action in front of the rim. Four, three, two, one. Team Blue wins the autonomous round. Now the driving round in three. Two, one, go! Spinning out of the field, trying to get off from under, and now it made it clear. Chance for the team to get some movement now. That's 130, 130 now in team match number 41. 42, 43. The following robots can come to the queue desk in front of the rim stage. The following robots in front of, or to the queue desk in front of the rim stage. 56R and 56H. Both from Cape Elizabeth. 56R and 56H. You can bring your robots to the queue desk in front of the rim stage. Also, 414004 a the Trojans of Thornton Academy. And 6476-2D, DWA from Bangor High School. All those robots can come to the key desk in front of the room stage where there's 45 seconds left in the match. Approaching the 30-second mark, approaching the 30-second mark. 30 seconds remain. Big log jam of robots off in the far corner, close corner. Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of match 41. Robots 56R, 56H, 41404A, and 6476-2D can set up on the key desk in front of the rim form. These robots can come and set up on the Q desk in front of the humane form. These robots to the Q desk in front of the humane form. 5156H from York High School. 5156H from York High School. 9343B from Hamden Academy. 9343B from Hamden Academy. 21421S from All Saints. 4121S from All Saints. And 20734C from Old Town. This is match number 42. These are youngsters from John Baps, Old Town, and Booth Bay. Team Blue, glasses. He's touching his glasses on the far side. First, I thought they got lost in his hair. Problem I've never had. Sam. Now Team Blue ready. Now Team Red ready, and the judges are ready for match number 42, in autonomous round, in three, two, one, go. <laughs> 5156H, 9343B, 21421S, and 20734C in Q. As we end the autonomous round, it's a tie. Now the drive around will settle some scores in three, two, one, go.
Match number 43 is on the rim next with Cape Robotics 56R and 56H. Looking for Thornton Academy 4140-41404A. And from Bangor High School 64762D. One minute left, one minute left in match number 42. Match number 42. We're watching youngsters from John Babs, Old Town, and Booth Bay battling it out on the humane stage. Now we're approaching the 45 second mark, 45 seconds. Coming up on 30 seconds. Coming up on 30 seconds left. <laughs> Half a minute remaining. Half a minute remaining. Participants in match number 42. Judges, take a look if you would. Match number 43 back at the rim stage. Match number 43 in front of the rim stage. Two teams from Cape Elizabeth teaming up. Thornton Academy and Bangor High School also in the mix. The following robotics teams can bring their robots to the Q desk in front of the rim stage. Q desk in front of the rim stage for... 20734B from Old Town, 93303F from Monmouth, 21421H from All Saints, and 9343E from Hamden Academy. You can bring your robots now to the queue desk in front of the Rim Stadium. Safety glasses all around. Excellent. Red team ready? Red team ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Team Blue wins the autonomous round. Moving on now to the driving round in three, two, one, go. Even as they watch the battle, we'll tell the next set of robots to come and find their way into the queue desk in front of the rim stage. 207-34B from Old Town. 93-303F from Monmouth. 21-421H from All Saints. And 9343E from Hamden Academy, go ahead and find your way to the queue desk in front of the rim stage. We got a tug of war between a couple of the robots that are fighting over some remaining big stands out in the center of the rim stage as we approach the one minute mark. As we approach the one minute mark. Approaching the 30-second mark, approaching the 30-second mark. Looks like a couple of stray small cars. Less than 30 seconds remain. Less than 30 seconds remain. 20 seconds now. Can he make it up the hill? Nine... With a little help from his friends, five, four, three, two, one. What a match! Wow, well played. We'll let the judges sort that out. 
That's next match here coming will be number 45, 20734B, 93303F, 21421H, and 9343E. We'll look for you lining up on the Q stage. Zoe's going to flash numbers on the screen. Take a look and see who won the matchup. Number 32, Flat Earth Society and the Wannabe Haydens from Bangor. 83 points. Team Blue from Old Town and Booth Bay allying for 23 points. Team Red with a win for qualification round number 42. Match number 34. We're going to see last minute tweaks, adjustments to. I think those were. I think those were hers, and she'll be right back, I think, for them. Match number 44 has youngsters from Old Town, All Saints, Hamden Academy, and York High School preparing to battle it out. We're going to look to see, make sure everyone has safety glasses on. Thank you, sir. Safety glasses are on. Red team, ready? Ready now? Blue team ready? Judges ready. This is match number 34, and the autonomous round begins in 3, 2, 1, go. With five seconds remaining in the round... Red team wins the autonomous round, driving round now in three, two, one, go! We're watching match number 34. Up next, match number 35, Old Town, Monmouth, All Saints, Hamden Academy, various teams ready to take the rim stage. Looking at the robots, one, two, three. Is there a fourth robot to come down and take their spot on the rim stage for the next match, number 45? One robot so powerful, it's ripped apart one of the stands in the middle of the U main forum. Approaching the one minute mark, approaching the one minute mark, mark right there. Following teams can bring their robots to the queue desk in front of the U-Main stage. The following teams can bring their robots to the queue desk in front of the U-Main stage. 64762A and 64762F, both from Bangor. 56J from Cape Elizabeth, 56J. And 93303Z, 93303Z, <laughs> Monmouth Academy, you can bring your... Robots to the queue desk in front of the U-Main stage. Less than 30 seconds now remain in match number 44. Looking for one member of the blue team for our next match. One member for the blue team for match number 45. Who are we missing from blue team for 45? Three, two, one... End of match number 44. Thank you both judges. Take a look. We're looking for 21421H. Hey guys. These robots can find their way to the Q stage in front of the U main forum. Q stage in front of the U main forum for teams 6476-2A and 6476-2F, both from Bangor, 56J from Cape Elizabeth, and 93303Z from Monmouth. Bring your robots to the Q desk in front of the U main stage. 
next round in front, next round setting up on the cue desk for the rim stage will be 93-43A, 43-93X, 62-49A, and 43-93S. If you just heard your robot called out, you can come and set up now on the cue desk in front of the rim stage. Thank you, volunteers, for putting Humpty Dumpty back together again each time. This is number 45, judges. We have a blue team that's ready to go with the glasses all on, safety in place. Thumbs up, blue team. Thumbs up, blue team. Thank you. Red team, thumbs up all the way around. Judges ready to go. This is the autonomous stage in three, two, one. Go! Ten seconds remain. Three, two, one. And the autonomous stage red team wins the autonomous round. Now the driver's round in three, two, one. Go! Scoop that up, grab that, scoop that up, bring it over. Approaching 1 minute 30 seconds in this 45th match. Grab that's at the Q stage already for match number 47. Thank you so much. Volunteers setting up and robots ready to take the U main stage in moments here. As we approach the one minute mark, the one minute mark in match number 45 on the UMAIN, on the rim stage rather. Approaching the 32nd mark of match number 45 in the battle of the bots in the center of the stage. There's the 32nd mark. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Well, that's 56G. You can report to the Q desk in front of the main stage. 56G. 6476-2B you can report. Less than five seconds to add now. Five, four, three, two, one. End of 45. Match number 46, we'll see members of Bangor High School, Keep Elizabeth and Monmouth Academy, ready to battle it out. To the cue desk in front of the UMAIN forum. To the cue desk in front of the UMAIN forum. We're about 56G. We're about 67, check that. We're about 64762B. 21421A and 1897A. If you just heard your robot's name, you can come, you can set it up. Thank you for being there. All set to go there on the cue desk. Right now, this is match number 46. Glasses down, please. Glasses on. Very good with glasses. I think you haven't noticed. Team Red, thumbs up. People who have been asking for a moment, now give them the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Roster Team Blue, Judge is ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Blue team wins the autonomous round, and now the driving round. 
in three, two, one, go. This is match number 46, 47. We're coming to you next. Participants for match number 48, you can bring your robots now if you would to the Q stage in front of the U main field. Following robots to the Q stage in front of the U main field. 56G, 67, check that, 6476-2B, 2142-1A, and 1897-A. You just heard your robot's name. You can bring it to the queue desk in front of the U-Main stage. Approaching the one-minute mark for match number 46. Approaching the one-minute mark for match number 46. Five seconds, 45 seconds now. <laughs> and 30 seconds remain in match number 46. 30 seconds. Thirteen, 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 twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> On the big screen, big numbers, those flashing in play right now uh, from match number 45. The beginners from Old Town and appendicitis from uh, Thalmouth, Monmouth, rather, scoring 106 combined points, defeating Team Blue of the Gearheads and the Raptors from Hampton and Bangor, respectively, with 30 points. Thanks, Zoe, for the results from match number 45. Participants in match number 49, you can bring your robots to the queue desk in front of the rim stage now. Participants, 49, come to the rim desk. 56S, 5156H, 93303F, and 647622D. That will be match number 49. Just giving a look over to all of the hard work of the volunteers stacking the desk. These are the youngsters participating in number 47. This is Team Red. Team Red, are you guys ready? Team Blue, are you guys ready? Dodgers are ready. Autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds to do your best. Get something done. Nine seconds. One of those scans wobbling, but not falling down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Team Blue takes the autonomous round. Driver's round begins. Three, two, one, go. Team Blue are going to make some quick business here, getting some posts up and in, going back in and fighting once again. Quick turnaround. Grab it and go, grab it and go. Approaching 120 now, approaching 120 now. Almost jousting with that large device in the center of the forum here on the room stage. Now less than one minute left, less than one minute left. Now, 
37 seconds, 47 seconds left. What about 6476 2 f 6476 2 f You can go to the key desk in front of the human stage. 30 seconds left, and that's number 47. What about 207 34B? 207-34B. 2142-1S. 2142-1S. And 6249C, you can go to set your robots now on the key desk in front of the humane stage. Ten seconds remain as we watch the last of the battle. 47 here on the room field. Five, four, three, two, one. Scrappy is the word we use to describe that fight that we just saw. One, two, three, four robots on the field, even as the volunteers make sure everything is set the way it should be ahead of our next match. That's match number 48 next to come here on the U-Main stage. Robots for number 50. Robots for match 50. 6476F. 207-34B. 21421S and 6249C. If you just heard your robot's name, if you're not there already, you can come and set up on the queue desk in front of the humane stage. Zoe's got results for us. Match number 46. The band of the hawk and the robots remain putting up 30 points on the board, but a strong, strong showing from the team from Monmouth and Cape Elizabeth putting up 127 blue team wins. Match number 46. Judge is still doing some tabulation on match number 48. Match number 48 is next. Still racking up some totals for match number 47 as the refs pace the field. It was a crappy match, that was for sure. Judges, this is match number 48 for you. Cape Elizabeth, Bangor, All Saints, and Wayne Fleet. Team Blue, glasses on. Are you guys ready? Team Red, glasses on. Are you guys ready? Judges, if you're ready, we'll call for the autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Out, making a big scoop, trying to bring it in 15 seconds to do as much damage as possible. Team Blue, Fumble just for a moment there. Going to pull back and hold off. Five seconds left in the autonomous round. Judges taking a look. End of the round now. Team Blue wins the autonomous round. Driver's round begins in three, two, one, go. Even as we watch the teams competing in match number 48, we look to match number 50 and the robots that will compete. We'll see three out of the four here. 6476 2F, 20734B, 21421S, and 6249C. You're invited to come up if you're not here already. Get on the queue desk in front of the UMaine forum as we watch the teams battle it out with one minute and ten seconds remaining right now in the match. Volunteers, thank you for doing all you do to get us set up match for match, going and setting up RIM, going and setting up UMain. Appreciate you very, very much. Thanks for making today's robotics meet work. Less than one minute now with match number 48. Teams from Cape Elizabeth, Bangor, All Saints, and Wayne Fleet competing with 50 seconds remaining. 50 seconds remaining, going and trying to make the very delicate balance on the board for the very end of the meet. Thirty seconds remain. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I don't know if they're going to be able to snag that off from under there and still make, well, they can still try to make the balance, still staking claim to what they can. Fifteen seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, there's the end of match number 48. The judges will tally the scores. We see one, two, three, four robots now in queue ready to take the field when they're done. And the 
volunteers reset the match. Thank you guys for moving along so efficiently. And thanks to Granger for being one of our sponsors of today's event. Thank you for helping make robotics work. Thank you for advancing education in the state of Maine. Match number 49. Youngsters from Cape Elizabeth, York High School, Monmouth, and Bangor competing. Now we're on the cue desk in front of the rim forum for the participants in number 51 in match 51. 51421H. Check that. That's 2142-1H. 2142-1H. 6249-A. 6249-A. 56-R. And 2142-D. Cut up in front of the room stage on the desk now. How about some glasses down? Team Blue, are you guys ready? Team Red, are you guys ready? Judge, judge, and judge, if you're ready. We'll have the autonomous round for that. We'll have the autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Still ends the autonomous round. Victory goes to blue, but now the driver's round. Three, two, one, go. Again, match number 49 in front of you now. York, Monmouth, Cape Elizabeth, and Bangor competing in separate teams. Red and blue allowed to win as many points as they can. A lot of points on one side right now. Let's see if some teams can scramble and try to pull some of those points out away and move them onto their side of the board. One minute and 15 seconds remaining in the match. One minute mark now. One minute mark. And down to 45 seconds now. 45 seconds. 50. These teams can come to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. Teams to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. But first, we call 30 seconds. Right now, in the match, 49, 30 seconds left. These teams can come to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. 21, 42, 1A. 21, 42, 1A. 93303Z. 93303Z. 2142E. 2142E. And 20734C. Q desk in front of the UMA stage. 4, 3, 2, 1. End of match 49 now as the judges will work to unscramble who earned how many points. Zoe is showing you the rankings for what happened in match number 48. Team Red, the Alliance of Bangor and Cape Elizabeth scoring 102 points. Team Blue scoring 87 points. Team Red takes match number 48. Thank you, Zoe. That's why we can't have nice things. You kids keep breaking them. Hey guys, set up for match number 50 now. Bangor, Old Town, All Saints, and Booth Bay gathered, waiting for the judges to come over. This is 50. 52 will follow here at the U Main stage. Teams for 52, you can bring your robots to the queue desk right now. 21, 42, 1A to the queue desk in front of the U Main stage. 93, 303Z, 2142E. And 207-34-C. Looking around the room, young man, if you'd like to put your glasses down from your hat in front of your eyes. You, the guy with the shirt that says waffles and Wi-Fi. 
I know it's a struggle. The struggle is real. Judges, all right. Team Red, ready? Team Blue, ready? All right. Judges, ready? All right. This is match number 50, the autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Some holding, the some holding the ground, some moving out, some grabbing. With 10 seconds now remaining, 10 seconds left, down to five. Gives us five seconds left. Another sound is up. It's a tie. Let's see what happens in the driving round now. In three, two, one, go. Thank you, volunteers, for scrambling to reset the rim stage for the next round of activity. Appreciate it very much. All the robots can be in place. If you'd like for a V match number 52, you can bring your robot over to the queue desk in front of the U main stage right now. 21421A. 21421A from All Saints. I see you right there. 93303Z. 93303Z from Monmouth Academy. Find your place to the room in front of rather the U Main stage. 2142E, the Flat Earth Society. 2142E from John Bass. And OTS, OTHS Calamity. 20734C. Come and set up on the room. Uh, check that thing. Q desk in front of the U main stage. Approaching 45 seconds now. Approaching 45 seconds left in the match number 50. <laughs> 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds remain. Any last minute points you want to try to grab, bring on to your side of the for him. Coming down to 20 now. Team's doing the rest to be very protective of what's left. 15. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 3. 2. 1. Match number 50 is in the books. Match 50 is in the books. Judges will tally. Volunteers will reset the stage. We'll walk over to the rim forum now and see the matchup for 51. The Raptors, Cape Robotics, the Scorpions, and 6249A getting in place. Team Red and Team Blue will watch you do battle in just a moment or two. Participants for match number 53, you can set up on the queue desk in front of the rim stage now. These are the participants that can come to the Q desk for match number 53 next. 56J, the Long Earth Society. 50, uh, 9343E, 9343E, and 9343B from Hamden Academy. And 21421E, 21421E, Phoenix from All Saints. That will be 53. That will be on the rim stage after this match, which is number 51. Glasses down. Over your eyes. Thank you very much all the way. Oh, uh, wow. Glasses down, buddy. Looking good. Don't think I haven't noticed. You've been working out, haven't you? All right. Team Blue ready. Oh. Team Blue, as I was asking, you ready. Team Red, ready. The judge is... Only one judge. And we can do the autonomous round now. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Seven seconds remain. And 
going to be a autonomous round. And that's a tie. Now the driving round. Drive it like you stole it. Three, two, one, go. We'll watch the following teams next on the U Main stage. We'll watch the following teams next on the U Main stage. 21 for 21A. 93303Z. 2144E. And 20734C. We're watching you next on the U Main stage. Now our attention is on the rim stage. Match number 51. With about one minute left in the match. As we watch kids from All Saints, Booth Bay, Cape Elizabeth, and John Baps compete. Fifty seconds left. Forty-nine seconds left. Forty-nine seconds left. And 30 seconds remain in match number 51. 30 seconds remain in match number 51. Participants in match number 52 invited to place their robots on the U main stage. Participants in match number 52, put your robots, find your spot on the floor. 10 seconds remaining in this match. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zoe's tapping the button, showing the totals for match number 50. The robots and the OTHS beginners, Team Red, scoring 133 points, even after the autonomous tie, beating the blue team of the Cyber Saints and Team Chad from Booth Bay Harbor. 133 to 24. Thanks, Zoe. We are here to watch now match number 52. All Saints, Monmouth, John Baps, Old Town, Team Red, Team Blue. And even as these teams get ready to battle it out, they welcome robots to the cue desk in front of the U main stage. To the cue desk in front of the U main stage. 647622B, the United Synthetic Systems of Roberts. 647622B also. 9343A, the Gearheads. 56H from Cape Robotics. And 6249B from Booth Bay. If you just heard your name, go ahead and bring your robot to the queue desk in front of the U main stage. This is match number 52, judges. This is Team Blue. They're ready to. They got their eyeglasses all in place. Safety first. This is Team Red. All turned around. Ready to go. If you guys are ready, we'll call for the autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Eight seconds left. Three, two, one. It's a tie. Now the driving round. Watch him fly in three, two, one, go. Oh. 
120 left in the round. We're watching students from All Saints, Monmouth, John Baptist, and Old Town, Team Red and Team Blue. One minute left, one minute left in the round. Volunteers setting up the room for, for our next match, match number 53. Forty-five seconds remain. Forty-five. Thirty seconds remain. Now thirty seconds remain. Match number 54, match number 52, rather, in the books. Four bats from 54. I see three out of the four in place. 6476 2B, 9343A, 56H, and 6249B. Not sure who's missing. We'll get you there. Judges will take a look, size it up. Match number 53. Cape Elizabeth, two from Hamden Academy, and all Saints competing, Team Red and Team Blue. The following robots... The following teams are welcome to bring their robots to the queue desk in front of the rim forum. I see one, two, three out of the four. 2142H. Also, 56G is in place. 4393X is in place. 6476-2A is in place. So looking for 2142H, 2142H to come to the queue desk with your robot for a match number 55 still ahead. Safety glasses all in place. Two judges in the shop. Three in place. Team blue ready? Team red ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round for match number 53 in three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one. And the match, Team Red wins the autonomous round. Now drive it around. Three, two, one, go. One minute and 45 seconds to grab what you can and bring it onto your side of the field. Maybe balance it on the ball. Best of luck, teams. This is watching number 53. Watching 53 right now. Two from Hamden Academy, Cape Elizabeth, and All Saints showing their stuff. Approaching one minute. Approaching one minute now.
approaching the 30 second mark, approaching the 30 second mark. And 20 seconds remaining. 15. Five, four, three, two, one. And the end of the round. Looking back at the numbers from match number 52, the blue team, the Flat Earth Society from Bangor and the Old Town Calamity Group, scoring 133 points. The red team from Monmouth and Bangor, combining to win, combining to score 94 points. Blue team with a win for match number 52. Final match of the day will be match number 56. It will be played on the U Main field. And the robots that will compete are robot 1897A. 1897A, you can queue up now in front of the U Main stage. 20734A. 20734A. 41404A. 41404A and 43. 93S. But for now, judges, these are youngsters from Bangor, Hamden, Cape Elizabeth, Booth Bay. Safety glasses on all the way around. Excellent. Red team's ready. Blue team's ready. Judges ready. Autonomous round in three. Two, one, go! Ten seconds remain. Five, four, three, two, one. Red team wins the autonomous round. Drive it around now in three, two, one, go! Our next match, 55, all four robots making their way to the WIM field with a minute 20 left for the play on the U main field now. Red team starting to work to try to make some placements now. Hard scene for the red team, but now trying to make a way, can they find a way to try to regroup what they had and bring it back together again with 45 seconds on the clock? Down to 40 now, and another flip on the field. <laughs> And 30 seconds on the clock. And now down to 20. Uh, and 10 seconds remaining. End of a crazy, heartbreaking match. Judges will work to try to sort out points on that match.
Zoe tops the numbers and shows up on the big board. Team Blue with the Gearheads and Phoenix scoring 20 points. But the Longwood Society and the Gearheads rarely getting it done with 106 points. Red Team winning qualification match number 53. Thank you, Zoe. So with two matches left now, two matches left, once we're done with qualifications, all the action over the skills area is over as well. So skills end when the qualifications end. So if you've got plans, make them now, get it done. Skills competition ends when qualification matches end. Second of the last match, qualification match number 55. Let's find out red team. All got the glasses on. Red team, you ready to play? Blue team, they came to play. Judges, they just want to play. Autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go! Five seconds left in the autonomous round. And end of the autonomous round. It goes to Team Blue. Now the driving round. Three, two, one, go. Now zipping around with a minute 41 left on the clock. Everyone trying to make a move. Putting now the big moves on the big plot in the center of the field. And pushing each other around quite a bit. A minute 30 now, a minute 30. One twenty now, a lot of speed and some of the smaller bats on the field. Our thanks again to all the volunteers that took part today in making it a success. Appreciate you being here today. Now approaching one minute left on the clock. One minute left on the clock right now. And now down to 45. Not sure if anyone's going to be able to make some moves here that's going to make a definitive victory. Team Blue's got that great big post on their side, still making some. <laughs> and now with 25 seconds remaining, 25 seconds remaining, trying to coordinate the timing and placing. If they can, within 15 seconds, if Team Blue can get that post up and get it. Oh! A little heavy, tried to tip it over on the edge. Now with seven seconds, six, five. Four, three, two, one. What incredible teamwork in order to try to see if they could get that balanced on the side and get the points. Thumbs up from the judge. Skills ending shortly. Skills end when the last qualification ends, and the last qualification round is about to begin here at the U Main stage. With Winfleet, Old Town Thornton Academy, and the Main School of Mathematics, 
the main school of science and mathematics. All the way from Limestone and all the way from Saco for the final match. The results are in from match number 54. The red team comprised of the Gearheads of Hamden and the United Synthetic System of that guy from uh, Bangor scoring 86 points. Cape Robotics and Booth Bay teaming up for Team Blue for 60 points. Red Team wins round number 54. Team Red ready? Team Blue ready? And if the judges are ready, play a pretty for Atlanta. Autonomous round. Three, two, one, go. Coming out fast, snagging, bringing it, trying to catch it, holding on to it. Bringing it back. Now with nine seconds remaining. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Into the autonomous round. Blue team wins. Now to drive it around. Three, two, one, go. Blue team is trying to snag that last. Front of the side, it's going to be tough to nab it. Red team is not going to give up without a fight for that weight. Tucking it over to the corner, trying to make the lift. Has he got the leverage to do so? Doesn't appear so just yet now with 1 minute and 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Now with 1 minute remaining... Just about. Blue team trying to get the angle so they can drive up ever so carefully and see if they can make what would be the balance on the top without spilling over. Can it back up and make the moment? Meanwhile, the red team trying to make a placement, successfully doing so. 45 seconds now left. 41 Team combining efforts to try to make the balance. Not sure if they want to let it go. To think it's going to be tipping over. Nudging it a little bit closer. 30 seconds now remaining. Dropping and letting it go. Now with 20 seconds, team wondering if they can make the balance back up just a bit, maintain balance, and drop that within the final 12 seconds of play. And they do so. Counting down. Eight, seven. Six, five, one and eight, and the final match of the day. We'll let the judges tally up all the points. A combination of work from two ends of the state of Maine, Third Academy in Saco, working collaborating along with the Maine School of Science and Mathematics in Limestone, producing what appears to be a very strong winning total on the board for match number 56. Two rematches that we play. Two rematches we play. We will replay match number 51. We're going to rematch, replay match number 51, and we'll play it first, match number 51, here on the rim stage. So the participants for match number 51. We're back. 21, 32, 1, H. 31, check that, 21, 42, 1, H. Come to the rim stage now. 62, 49 from Booth Bay Harbor. 62, 49, A from Booth Bay Harbor, yes. 56, R from Cape Elizabeth. 56, R from Cape Elizabeth. Take your place. 
here on the rim stage. And 21-32-D. 21-32-D, a rematch of competition number 451. The second rematch will be the match number 34. And for match number 34, on the U-Main platform, on the U-Main platform, the rematch of 34, 5156H from York High School. 5156H from York High School. 9333B from Hamden Academy. 9343B from Hamden Academy. 21421, 21421S from All Saints, and 20734C from Old Town. Red team is ready. Blue team is ready. The judges are ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. An interesting start. A unique strategy that I haven't seen before, but this is my first time at a robotics meet. Autonomous round ends now with a tie. This should be good. Driving round in three, two, one, go. Reaching, snagging, trying to grab, trying to bring it over, trying to place it down, trying to flip it now around. Grabbing one, two, two of the blues now for Team Blue, trying to bring it into play. Trying to slide it up somehow, a little too close. Team Red now reaching, trying to grab, maybe make some movement, grab something, get something going here on this side. Blue came over, snagged it away. Danger that they might run into each other. Coming up at the one-minute mark, coming up on the one-minute mark here for the replay of number 51. A little top heavy on one side and a snag between two of the bigger bots on the floor with less than one minute left in the competition. Coming up on the 30-second mark, the 30-second mark. <laughs> now down to 20 seconds. Team Blue trying to place a couple of stones up on the balance board here with 10 seconds left in the play, 10 seconds. And the final five. Four, three, two, one. And the end of that round. With some repair work for the mechanics following the match. Ouch. Zoe's been tabulating some numbers from that exciting competition, number 56. To find that when the Trojans from Saka and the Thick Earth Society from Limestone got together, they earned a combined 266 points in their match against the Wayne Fleet Flyers and the Old Town High School Amateurs scoring 40. Their team wins in that exciting last official round, official match, or the first set. Thanks, so. The second rematch is the one we saw before, number 34. Let's see if we got all the safety glasses in place and a thumbs up from Team Red ready to go. 
Safety glasses in place and a thumbs up from Team Blue ready to go. And the judges say so. So the autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go. An initial 12 seconds to do something. And waiting back for five, two, one. Red team wins the autonomous round. Now drive it around. Three, two, one, go. Red team went to make the snag, but blue team came in and just inched them, just out of range, just for a moment there. Big player over on the side, trying to make a move and try to grab that second. Carefully balancing the biggest stick right in the center of that balance board right now with less than one minute to go. Red team goes for a second snag at another one of the pieces where they're going to put it and maybe hopefully maintain that balance. Not sure just yet. Making the nudge, making the nudge, making the nudge. Carefully making the placement to see if it will hold in place. Got to elevate the hand, and they do so now with 30 seconds right now left in the competition. With 30 seconds left, two of the smaller bots over in the corner stuck to each other. Can't seem to make a move. Big bot now in the center, lowering its paws, ready to try to move in and make a snag. Stopped, unfortunately. Now with 10 seconds remaining, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. That puts a cap on the replay of match number 44. The judges will tabulate. Thanks again to the sponsors of today's event, Making a Robotics Meet a Success. Thanks again to Granger for supporting robotics. Thanks again to Texas Instruments for going above and beyond. P&E among the uh, sponsors of today's event, as well as AT&T. Manson Foundation doing its part. Thanks to all those volunteers as well who came out to help make today move along as smoothly as it has. The next segment of the competition, we'll turn it over to the head judge Hunter, who will explain how we did the line selection and set up the brackets for the next part of our competition today.
right, we're going to begin our alliance selection. Please bring your robot and one team representative up to the center of the auditorium. Find your sign. And again, we're going to be doing our alliance selection. Please bring your robot and one team representative. Find your sign, place your robot there. We're starting in just about a minute here. All teams should report to the fields with a robot and a representative and stand in your slot. Reminder, another time for teams. We're looking for one representative and your robot with your sign. All right, we're missing just a couple teams here for our line selection. 2142E, we're missing. And we're also missing, no, never mind, they're here. T 
2142 E, we are missing you for alliance selection. 2142 E. Start our line selection here. Can you please stand next to your robot with one representative and hold up your sign? It helps. So, here's how this works. Most of you have done this before, but in case you haven't, the simplest way to explain it is if you say no, you can't say yes. So, if a team above you in the ranking asks you to join their alliance, you can't say no to them and then say yes to somebody else. If you say no, you have to start your own alliance. That's the only way this works. Does anybody have questions about alliance selection? Most of you did before, but any questions before we get started with this? I see no questions around me. So we're going to start with our first ranked seed. First team, 56J. What team would you like to invite to join your alliance? The longest of us would like to pick the thickest of us, team 4393S. We would love to study the shape of the earth with you. That's an accept, by the way. They accept. You want to bring your robot up here? That'd be helpful. Thank you. All right, our second rank seed. Team 41404A, who would you like to invite? 2142E. 2142E. Wait, wait, who asked? 41404A invited you. Yes, we accept. They accept. All right, go ahead and bring your robot up. We'll go to our third ranked seed. Team 56R, who would you like to invite? 2142D. 2142D, where are you? 2142D, down here somewhere? There you are. Would you like to accept? We would like to accept. They accept. All right, go ahead and bring your robot over. And we will move on to our fourth ranked seed. Teams 5156H. Who would you like to invite? We'll take 56G. We accept. We accept, all right. We'll move on to our sixth rank seed, 56S. Who would you like to invite to join your alliance? Seven six two B. Six four seven six two B. Would you like to accept? Uh, you need a second. I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> Is two very mixed signals. One saying yes, one saying no. Make up your mind. Yes. They accept. All right, go ahead and move over here with the team. So, we'll move on to our eighth ranked seed, 93303Z. Who would you like to invite? Uh, we'll invite 4393X. 4393X. We accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot up. And we we'll move on to, what is this, our ninth ranked seed, ninth alliance? Let's see the number. 64762F, who would you like to invite? Any of the rankings are right behind you up on the board. Twenty-one forty-two H. 
21428, would you like to accept? Um, we respectfully decline. They decline. 64762F, what's your second choice? Jeopardy music. I don't have Jeopardy music. We can't play it. That's copyrighted. I need elevator music. Uh, 56 H. 56 H. Who are you? 56 H over here. Would you like to accept? Yes, we would like to accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot up. Now we move on to, oh gosh, what is it? Eighth Alliance? With the 11th seed, 9343E, who would you like to invite? 9343A. 9343A, over here. Back where I just was. 9343A, would you like to accept? We decline. A decline. 9343E, what is your second choice? 64762D. 64762D, would you like to accept? Yes. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot over. What are we now? Ninth seed? Ninth seed. Our ninth seed alliance, 21421A. Who would you like to invite to join your alliance? Um, 6249A. 6249A. Would you like to accept? Uh, no, we're going to decline. They decline. 6249A declines. 21421A, what is your second choice? Put, hold your sign up. You can't read your sign. 6249C. 6249C, would you like to join your alliance? Yes. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot up. 6249A, and have you guys come up here as well by the end of the line. They go ahead and slide on down. All right, 21428. You declined earlier. Who do you want to join your alliance? 64762A. 6472A, all the way down the other end. You're making me run. Don't appreciate it. We accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot up. And down here at the end, 9343B. I'm going to have you bring your robot up to the end of this line. You guys can slide on down. You're going to be right in the end here. All right. 6249A, you declined earlier. Who would like to join your alliance? Uh, 1897A. 1897A, all the way again. They can be run again. Come on. Get my steps in at least. 1897A, would you like to accept? We accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot up. What are we on? 13th seed? 13th alliance. All right. All right, all the way in the corner here. 9343B, who would you like to join your alliance? Uh, I'd like to ask 9343A to join our alliance. 9343A, I believe they declined earlier. Is that correct, or am I making that up? They declined earlier. You cannot choose them to be your alliance partner. What is your second choice? Uh, uh, I guess I'll go with 93303F. 93303F. Would you like to accept? We accept. They accept. Bring your robot up. Now, since we're sort of running out of space here, I'm going to continue it from here, I believe. We have run out of space over in our corner. So, 20734B, this is going to be our 13th seed alliance. Who would you like to choose as your, sorry, your partner? I need to think about this for a minute. Sure thing. We'll give you approximately 30 seconds. I don't have a timer. Never mind, it's not 30 seconds. I would like to... I would like to choose 20734A. 
2034A. Would you like to accept? I accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring our robot over. And we'll go on to our 14th seed alliance, which is 21421E. Who would you like to invite to join your alliance? 21421S. 21421S. All right, I'm here. Now I like to climb over things. Would you like to accept? We accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring your robot over. And we'll go down to our 15th seed alliance, 6249B. Who would you like to invite to join your alliance? 21421H. 21421H, all the way down the other end. Who would you like to accept? We accept. They accept. Go ahead and bring our robot down. Now, we come to our last alliance. However, let's give a quick round of applause to all the teams that came out here and all the ranks that have this. But there's so many qualification matches. Congratulations to all our teams for your rankings. And now, without further ado, 9343A, who would you like to join, invite to join your alliance? 20734C. 20734C. Better not say no. I accept. They accept. All right, and with that, we have all 16 of our alliances. So, we're gonna do 15 minutes. It will be our first first match. First time will be our first elimination match. Good luck, everybody.
All right, teams, let's get ourselves lined up and let's get ourselves underway with our bracket competition. And the first meet will take place here in front of the RIM Auditorium, the RIM platform. 56J. 56J. And 93443A. 2034C. And 4393S. Even as round one is setting up, round two, round two, you can get yourselves set up. 93, I got the right number? All right, 93. All right. 9343E, 9343E, where are you? There you are, hi. Come take a place on the stage. And you're teamed up with 6476-2D, 6476-2D, 2142-1A, 2142-1A, Team Blue. And where's Team 6249-C? 6249-C, you are Team Blue. Get yourself set up, get ready. So lining up now, coming into queue, getting on the queue table right now, on the queue table in front of the room stage, on the queue table in front of the room stage, the red teams, 5156H and 56G. 5156H and 56G, you can get on the queue table now in front of the room field, as well as the blue team, 20734B, 20734B and 20734A, you can queue up in front of the room stage right now. And over in front of the new main stage, up to the queue table. Team 56S to the queue table, and Team 6476-2B in front of the queue table. From 6476-2B to the Q table in front of the U main stage, along with 56S. 9343B, 9343B, and 9333F, 9330-9303F to the Q table in front of the U main stage. Number one, red team, are you ready? Blue team, are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Autonomous round first in three, two, one, go. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. One, and the autonomous round, Team Red wins, now the driving round, in three, two, one, go! A minute thirty left, a minute thirty left.
So since we have a minute, um, thanks to our volunteers for joining us here today and making our success to meet. Thanks to our sponsors, Granger, b &E. anyone else? My wife's in Florida. She's having a good time. Seconds now, 30 seconds remaining. Down to 20 seconds now, 20 seconds remaining. <laughs> Down to 15 seconds now. Nine, eight, seven, six. Thank you for the ballet. Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> So ends round one. Judges will take a look at the score. We'll turn our attention from the win field to the U main field. Who is missing that is not yet at the cue table that should be there for what will be the next round? Fifty-one fifty-six H. 56G, 20734B, and 20734A. All of us should be over at the cue table now in front of the room stage. Fifty-one. Is it 50? Who's missing? 56... 56G. Thank you. 56G. Game number two. Glasses on. Glasses on. Team Red. Are you guys ready to go? Team Blue, you guys ready to go? Judges, ready to go? Judges say so, autonomous round begins in three, two, one, go. Four seconds. Autonomous round is over. Red wins. Drive it around in three, two, one, go. Robot sight right in the middle of the field. Minute twenty left in the match. Minute twenty left in the match. Volunteers scrambling to reset the field for what will be our third round. As we approach the one minute mark now, the one minute mark on our second round of play, Team Red and Team Blue. It's getting scrappy. Seconds left, 30 seconds remain. Coming down to 15. And five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Judges will count that up. We'll come back to the one field now. 
contestants, blow an alliance, make your way. Blow an alliance, make your way. Guys, red alliance over the field. The results of the first play up now posted. Zero had the numbers up on the screen to see that the red team scoring 216 points, blue team scoring 90 points. Something I should have mentioned before, but ladies and gentlemen, so the Gearheads of Hampton Academy and OTHS Calamity eliminated. Give them a round of applause and congratulate them for their great work and being a part of today's event. Round of 16, game number three. Look over to the blue team. Blue team, glasses on. And blue team ready to go. Red team glasses on. And red team ready to go. Judges ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, red team calling a timeout, moving a measurement.
with about 30 seconds left on the timeout that Team Red called, they're now cleared size-wise to continue in the competition. This is match number three in the Alliance Finals. Well, Oscar Goggles down now once again. And we'll ask once again if red team is ready. And blue team is ready. And we'll start with the autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Ends the autonomous round. And now the driving round in three, two, one, go. One minute, approaching one minute now. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds remain. Two, one. Matchup number four, glasses down, please. Safety glasses down. Both sides. Team blue, safety glasses, please. Thank you. Team blue ready? Team blue ready? Hand in, you guys ready? Thank you. Team red ready? Excellent. Judges ready. Autonomous round. Three, two, one, go. Two, 
30 seconds left. It's on this round. Your team wins the autonomous round. Dial around in three, two, one, go. Minute 20 left, minute 20 left. One minute, less than one minute now left. Thirty seconds remain. Thirty seconds remain. Snow tires would help. Five, four, three, two, one. Next team's ready to go. Thank you for standing by and being prepared. Hang on a second. Judges will tally. They will rest up the field as well. Team, 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 and team. Match five, team blue. Match five. Team Red, match five, Team Red, come and take the field, prepare. Zone has the results for matches two and three. We'll start with match two. The Gear Reds of Hamden and GWA Bangor scoring 136 points. Possibly a mistake in Team Chad from Bangor and both Ray. Join me in congratulating and thanking possibly a mistake and Team Chad and both both for being a part of the competition today. Well done. Give them a round of applause if you will, please. And the results for the second match, Zoe has to share with a click of the button in a moment. She'll let you know how the team turned out. Match number three. The OTHS beginners and the OTHS amateurs teaming up to score 80 points, while the team from York and the team from Cape Elizabeth have been rising, scoring 66. Congratulations to the blue team for advancing. For the red team, we say thank you for joining us today, and we salute you. Game number five, we'll take a look around to see if the team's safety glass is on. Team Blue, set, with the safety glasses on, he came to play. Red Team ready. Blue Team ready. The judge is ready. Autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Now we have eight seconds left in the round. Five, four, three, two, one. And this round ends. Red gets the win. Now for the play in three, two, one, go. Coming up 
the one minute mark. Coming up in the one minute mark. Less than one minute now in play. Less than one minute now in play. Approaching the 30 second mark. Approaching the 30 second mark now. We're trying to find enough power to get up and find balance on the board ever carefully without tipping over. Now 20 seconds left in play. 20 seconds left in play. 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Judges will tell you the scores and we'll turn our attention from the win stage over to the new main stage where the volunteers have been working. Not, hang on just a sec, guys. Hang on just a sec. Well, hang on just a sec. What's missing? Oh, a ring. Okay. If she's an official volunteer, she can take a ring and she can place it there. If you would, please. Thank you. Team Red, Team Blue, ready for you to take your place on the floor, getting ready for what will be match number six. Results are in for match number four, the Gearheads of Hamden and Appendicitis of Bournemouth scoring 116 points. The Red Team of the United Synthetics and the Self-Destruct System. The red team from Cape Elizabeth well played 60 points. Everyone Jeremy congratulating Self-Destruct and Bone Bears, the United Synthetics, on a well played game today.
ready to move on to match number six now, and we'll look to the volunteers to reset the win field, even with the participants set up. Taking a quick gander, making sure everything is set up where it is supposed to be. Um, okay, what had happened was when we came over, there was a missing purple donut right there at the very corner of that farthest. So that's where it was. It was hidden. So we replaced it with another one. So we're ready to move on now with match number six. Red team, are you ready? Blue team, are you still ready? Thank you. Judges, if you're ready, it's on this round in three, two, one, go. Wins in the autonomous round, driving round now in three, two, one, go. One minute, one minute left of the match. Seconds remain, thirty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Match number seven now. Match number seven. The participants for match number nine can stage on the cube pillars in front of the room field, please. The skills, the robots, the teams for match number nine. Go ahead. Bring your robots up to the cube table now, please, in front of the room field. So looking back at the previous match, disqualifications, DQs coming down on soccer and Bengals team for the red team getting zero points. And the blue team, the Blue Bay Harbor and the Raptors from All Saints and Bengals are moving on. So a huge round of applause for the strong performance today by the Trojans and the Flat Earth Society. Join me please. Team Red in place. Team Red with the glasses on. You guys ready? Team Red ready? Team Blue ready? Wait, hang on. Okay. 
Team Blue ready? Team Red ready? Judges ready? Match number seven, autonomous round in three, two, one, go. Two, one. And the autonomous round, it ends up being a tie. Now the drive round in three, two, one, go. Less than one minute left in the round. Less than one minute left in the round. Five, Thirty seconds left. Excellent defensive play on the part of Team Blue with 15 seconds left in the match. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Match number eight, red team, take the field. Blue team, take the field. Match number eight, red team, take the field. Blue team, take the field. Please get set up. Round six results in the robots of Bangor and Cape Robotics. The red team scoring 126 points, besting the blue team scoring 40 points. Please join me in congratulating on a fine performance the Wannabe Haydens of Bangor and the Band of the Hawk of Bangor, the Team Blue. Thank you. So the teams in the first quarter final, the teams in the first quarter final, teams in the first quarter final, make your way to the uh, cube table in front of team of the rim field, please. Teams in the first quarter final, please bring your robots now to the cube field, the cube table in front of the rim field. Participants in the eighth match. Participants in the eighth match. Team Blue, are you guys ready to go? All right, Team Red, are you guys ready to go? 
Judges, you ready to go? Here we go. Starting auto, three, two, one, go. Red wins. Second set. Drive it around. Three, two, one, go. Less than one minute left in the competition. seconds remaining in the match and on the 30 second call to the quarterfinals, even as the judges now get ready, tabulate the points. First quarterfinal match. Game seven, match seven. So, Kip Robotics and Scorpion from Bangor scoring a combined 203 points, besting Phoenix, and the Cyber Saints with 63. Joe Moon congratulating Cyber Saints and Phoenix on their appearance today at a robotics meet. Getting ready for the quarterfinals now. Team Red. Ready to start? Auto round first. Blue team ready? Red team ready? Judges ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Red team wins. Auto round. Second round. Three. Two, one, go. 
Please participating in the second round of the quarterfinals all lined up. Thank you for being ready to go, you guys. Appreciate you. Hang on just a second. Volunteers getting the field set. We'll have you take your place in just a moment. One minute now remaining, one minute remaining. Approaching 45 seconds. seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> into the second quarterfinal match. The second quarterfinal match. If you were looking up, final round of the opening set. Team from Monmouth and the team from Limestone teaming up to score 106 points. 106 points. Team from Buff Bay Harbor and the Wayne Fleet Flyers from Portland with 60 points. Join me in congratulating the Blue team on a fine performance here today at the Dexter Battles competition of John Baps. Team Red is second quarterfinal match. Here we go. Let's find out if Team Red is ready to go. Find out if Team Blue is ready to go. Good. And the judges, if they're ready, on around three, two, one, go. Five seconds remain. Into the other round, goes to Team Blue. Next round, three, two, one, go. Participants in quarterfinal match number three. Participants in quarterfinal match number three. Please bring your robots to the queue table in front of the uh, uh, room for you, please. 
And the participants in quarterfinal final number four, if you want to come up and bring your address up to the Q table in front of the humane field, and we do so now, please. Less than one minute left in quarterfinal final number two. Seconds remain, 30 seconds remain in quarterfinal number two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So ends the match. Let's leave it to the judges to try to figure out a total here. Quarterfinal match moments away in front of an audience here at John Bapp's auditorium. Third semifinal match. Participants in the fourth semifinal match, go ahead, get yourselves queued up on the tables in front of the humane floor. Let's find out if the participants are ready. Team Red. Team Red, are you ready? Team Blue, are you ready? And the judges, if you're ready, out around in three, two, one, go. Let's bring on now the driving round. Drive it around in three, two, one, go. So now with 45 seconds left, and 30 seconds remain. down from the 10 second mark now at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Still a well fought game. Still a well fought and a well strategized game. We 
it should be seeing the participants in match number four in the quarterfinal, the fourth quarterfinal. Team Red and Team Blue, you can find your way onto the UMain stage. As always, crunch the numbers to show you the totals from the first quarterfinal and the second quarterfinal game. And up on the big screen, you'll see them shortly. And as soon as they come up on the screen, they'll broadcast it in high def stereo. We're preparing for the fourth quarter final. We're going to make sure everyone has a set of safety goggles. Most excellent. Okay. Um. Even though some, some final adjustments are made, Quarterfinal, game number one, the Gearheads of hand and a GW race going 110 points, bested by the Longwood Society and the Thicker Society. Two ends of the state, Cape Elizabeth and Limestone with 251. And we want a round of applause for the Gearheads and DWA for joining us here today at our Bex Robotics competition with John Dobst. So we also have the results of quarterfinal game number two, and with the press of the button, you'll see the numbers flash up on the big screen in front of you. Just like I said, and look how close this was. The OTHS beginners and amateurs with 60 points, but the gearheads of hand and appendicitis of Bonnet combining for 66 points. A close game, but the blue team advances. Join us and congratulate the Coyotes of Old Town for joining us today at a robotics league. Now, Team Red, are you guys ready to play? Team Blue, are you guys ready to play? Judges, if you're ready to watch, here we go. Auto round in three, two, one, go. One. <laughs> Team Blue, now the big round in three, two, one, go! Big fight for the big stick in the middle of the field. While the rest are scrambling around trying to get as many points for the team as possible with one minute, 30 seconds remaining. One minute, 30 seconds remaining on the board. Less than one minute left, less than one minute in the round. Forty seconds now, forty seconds remaining. Thirty seconds remain, thirty seconds remain. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One.
semifinals, first game, 56J, 4393S, Team Red. Team Blue, 9343B, and 93303F. Come on up. Scores into quarterfinal, game number three, the Robots of Bangor and Cape Robotics of Cape Elizabeth scoring 106, the Raptors and team 6249B from Birth Bay scoring 20 points. Give it up for the Raptors and Birth Bay for playing well today at our next robotics competition at John Daps. Organizers of the event have reminded us to point out to you that while we've been inside having a great deal of fun, a steady fall of snow has come down since about noon time. So roads are likely to be, no matter where you're driving after the event, snow-covered and perhaps slippery. And as darkness approaches, traveling could become a bit of a challenge. Please plan accordingly as you wrap up today and move safely on your way. Thank you. Semifinals match number one. Let's see those safety glasses where they belong, Mr. Man. Thank you, Mr. Man. And Team Red, ready to go? Penguin, ready to go? Team Blue, all ready to go? Here we go. All around. Three, two, one, go. Seven seconds left. All the time in the world. Team Red wins the water round. Now, here comes the big moves. Three, two, one, go. Approaching one minute, approaching one minute left in the match. Participants in the second semifinal, go ahead and stage, if you will, stage, if you will, on the cue tables. seconds remain, 30 seconds remain. As the judges tabulate, who are we missing on this side? A 
Both on teams take the field. Teams take the field for the second semifinal. Teams take the field for the second semifinal, please. Zero has the scores from the last quarterfinal. If you want to look up on the big screen and see the, the blue team, Team McTeamy face, and along with the team from Monmouth scoring 86 points and advancing. Gentlemen, congratulating Cape Robotics and also Scorpion from Bangor. The team scoring 60 points on a fine performance here today at our next robotics competition at John Bobs. Well done, Team Red. Team Red, ready to play? Team Blue, ready to play? Judges, on our round. Three, two, one, go! Nine seconds. Red Team wins the auto round, now the big play. Three, Two, one, go! One minute remains. One minute remains in the second semifinal. Approaching 30 seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Twenty-five seconds remain. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> In a moment, the exciting conclusion of our meet. In the first round of the semifinals, we saw the Long Earth Society and the Thick Earth Society, two ends of the state, scoring a combined 237 points, displacing the deer heads and appendicitis. Team Blue, everyone join me in congratulating the deer heads and appendicitis for a fine performance today at our Vex Robotics competition.
are the results of our second semifinal. Finding the team from Monmouth and from Limestone, scoring 100 points, displacing the robots of Bangor and Cape Robotics of Cape Elizabeth with 66 points. Join me in congratulating and thanking the robots and Cape Robotics for joining us today at our Vex Robotics competition at John Bapps. Teams will have three minutes to catch their breath before we have the final competition. Final game will take place here in the rim field. One minute. One minute for the finalists to make their way. One minute for the finalists to make their way to the rim field, please. Members of both teams would care to take a moment and put your safety goggles on. As the judge comes forward, because I want to do a double check of size.
blue team are ready to play. What's the question? So now red team are ready to play. Red team penguins, are you ready to play? Blue team ready to play. Judges ready? Is the audience ready for the finals? Out of round. In three, two, one, go! Red team wins all around. Here's the big game, everybody. Three, two, one, go! seconds, 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds remain, 30 seconds.
And the scores for our final match is up on the board. With 191 to 150, Longer Society and Thicker Society take the win. Congratulations, guys. And congratulations to 93303Z and 4393X, also for getting second place. Congratulations, guys. Thank you all for coming out.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started and we hand out the series of awards, they once again asked me to take a moment to remind you about the snow that we've had falling since noontime. So while we've been all been inside having a great time, there's been a steady covering of snow making roads slippery. And as it gets darker, it's going to be more difficult. Please use extra caution as you plan to drive home or at least make your way to a nearby fast food drive through okay? Thank you. Wow. This was my... What are you laughing at? Oh, she just got the drive through joke. Good. You're a judge, right? Nothing. Um, this was my first robotics meet. Holy cow, you guys are fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> While there are some of us who can't even figure out how to change the batteries in the back of the Roku controller, you guys are building things that are just fantastic. Let's we'll start with the judges' awards. The Judges Award is presented to a team that is most deserving of special recognition. Judges consider several criteria for this award, including exemplary, exemplary effort and perseverance at the event, team accomplishments throughout the season, and or other factors that may not fall under the existing award categories. And this year, for this meet, the Judges Award is presented to Team 56J, the Long Earth Society from Cape Elizabeth High School. Okay, so just to get this right, are we going to bump elbows or bump fists or shake hands? Dr. Shaw says, you know, the elbows would be a good thing. Elbows. From here on out, elbows. No hugs. The design award is presented to the team that demonstrates the most organized and professional approach to the design process, project, and time management, and team organization. The team's engineering notebook provides a clear and complete documentation of the team's robot design process and the development of the game strategy. It's also something worth stealing. Please keep it away from the enemy. The winning team also demonstrates effective communication skills and teamwork, and this design award is presented to Team 93303F Appendicitis from Monmouth Academy. As the MC for the first time, am I allowed one quick question and one quick answer? From Monmouth, one quick question, one quick answer. Why appendicitis? That's great. I'm glad you weren't team botulism or something like that, okay. Next is the Robot Skills Competition, and this award is presented to the team that has earned the highest combined Driving Skills Challenge score and Programming Skills Challenge score, and with a total skill score of 345. The Robot Skills Champion Award is presented to Team 3, check that, 4393S, the Thick Earth Society from the Main School of Science and Mathematics. Rubbing elbows with important people. The tournament finalists are the two team alliances who finished second place after the elimination matches. And the tournament finalist award is presented to Team 93303Z. I'm not going to list all those zones and zeros. From Monmouth Academy and Team 4393X. 
Timmy McTeamface from the Maine School of Science and Mathematics. And the tournament champions are the two-team alliance who finished first place after the elimination matches. What an exciting final match. Our tournament champion award is presented to, hold your applause, Team 5-6-J, the Long Earth Society from Cape Elizabeth, and Team 4-3-9-3-S, the Thick Earth Society from the Maine School of Science and Mathematics. You'd think that was like the Oscars and that was the best picture, but no, there's one more award to be given out. It's even greater. It's the Excellence Award, and it's the highest award presented in the VEX Robotics program. The recipient of this award is a team that exemplifies overall excellence in creating a high-quality competitive robotics program. This team is a strong contender in numerous award categories and exemplifies dedication, devotion, hard work, and teamwork this team is committed to quality in everything they do, and the judges award this to Team 2142E, the Flat Earth Society, from John Bass Memorial High School, the hosts of today's VEX Robotics competition. No long speeches, no long good nights, no long goodbyes. Just a safe drive, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.